And I'm back. Just like that. It's been ages. Um, well, we're not back into the game just yet, but I thought I'd start here from, uh, I guess, the latest news that post was po latest news that posted, which was uh, last month, early last month. Because, uh, yeah, still the last news that's up um, in public about uh, Cogmind here. Uh, the last uh, update was about Beta 13, which is still uh, being worked on. Uh, as of yesterday, I was busy adding, putting the entire new map together. The big new map. Obviously, we already have a smaller new map. Um, uh, this new one's going to have a ton of stuff in it, though. So, yeah. Uh, if you haven't checked out that update... Uh, there's a little bit of an overview about that, the new combat log. It's uh, kind of older stuff uh, by now, especially since uh, you know I already streamed it and other uh, patrons have been playing that and testing it out, uh, which has been going pretty well. Uh, but yeah, lots and lots of new items. This this is a small list compared to I've now, just since the last X1 released, I've added another 50 items uh, with a whole bunch of new mechanics and abilities uh, that are coming to the next release. It's going to be pretty interesting stuff. I'm really looking forward to sharing that. But uh, it needs to be all released in one big chunk. So uh, I haven't been doing uh, little releases or as many pre-releases like I did in some of the, like in beta 11 had a lot of pre-releases. Um, beta 12 had several. Uh, beta 13 is less about pre-releases, just doesn't really work with the, uh, the, the content that's going into this particular release. There will be a, a couple more at least, but um, the, yeah, we're kind of in the stage now where I need to put a lot of stuff together. Um, so yeah, but a lot, it's, uh, you know, we're on the latter half of that, uh, definitely by now doing pretty good. So, hey, welcome everyone. Yeah, nice to see everyone back again. Subcase, yeah, no, I know. <laughs> Subcase is a small map, right? Size-wise, I I'm, I'm, I, you know, when I said that, I was thinking about that same thing. Subcaves is actually a pretty big map. Um, I'm working on Scrap Town right now, which is another new map coming. Big, it's actually not small, but it's uh, big and big on content, far more than Subcaves. I mean, Subcaves has, you know, new content, but it's going to pale in comparison to Scrap Town, which is, is going to be one of the places where you get a lot of the new items, um, they're related to it anyway. They're either f there or they're related to there. It's a lot of new stuff. So yeah, we'll have, I, don't, I still don't know when that pre-release is coming. Um, it will not be within the next month or so, I guess. Um, but it should be this year, I think. I, I can't promise that, but I mean, I would really hope so. Uh, really just depends on how many other obstacles uh, there are um, between now and when that comes out. Um, and also what else I would want to release uh, along with it. Because the map itself will be done, you know, I've got a lot of all the working parts are there. The map itself will be done um, uh, before too long, I would hope, because all the parts are ready. I just need to put it together. Uh, but then also we need the new tile set, uh, which uh, Casper is going to be working on, but he can't work on it now. He's too busy. He's got another couple weeks before he starts on that, and then it'll take him a little while to do that. And uh, we'll go back and forth a bit on the t t new tile design. So that'll be, uh, it's got probably about a month or more away. Um, right now, today, I mean, I would really prefer to be working on Scrap Town because I had a really good day yesterday. And this week I'm trying to like really press uh, the actual map itself getting put together. But yeah. A lot of cool UFD stuff coming. Um, so anyway, but yeah, I, I decided I needed to stream. It's been a while. I need to get back into it. Uh, a lot of health problems um, and other uh, issues, but mainly health, uh, been keeping me from streaming. I haven't really done any serious streaming since, you know, 7DRL, which ended short specifically because of that bird strike. Pretty annoying. That really messed me up. Um, so anyway, yeah, getting attacked by birds is not good. Uh, just one bird in particular. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, yeah, so this is the latest update. If, you, if you've got uh, Patreon, then there's actually, I've been, every month I've been doing a couple or, or, or so updates on new items and mechanics that are coming to the next release. Uh, I should put start putting some of that stuff on the main blog, actually, or something. Yeah, I should probably do that soon. I've just been so busy with the map itself. Um, but there are more of those coming, too. I've got another one planned uh, for uh, uh, later on. Uh, to introduce uh, some more new tech coming in beta 13. There's a lot of new tech. Uh, so yeah, let's actually close this down and get ready to start the game. I'm going to run in the game. We're going to be playing uh, beta 13 X1. Uh, this should work fine. Hey, Desnim. 
Oh, thanks for the subscription. I need to make sure. Yeah, thank you. People subscribing again. You're going to make me keep streaming, right? <laughs> yeah, I do need to actually get back to, you know, I used to do it regularly, right? And I had to stop mainly for health reasons. I think I could, it's a, I should be safe to get back into it now. Uh, not only Cogmind either. I was actually, right before I stopped streaming, uh, I was planning on starting a, a different game, a uh, roguelike related game that was coming out at the time, and someone had gifted it to me, so I will. I wanted to share that, but now it's now it's not even it's not even new because it's been ages. So anyway, here's so let's see. Let's get past this intro here. <sighs> Luigi says, "Was that loading screen powered by my mod? It was so fast." Yeah, everyone is going to enjoy Luigi's new audio mod, which basically just loads audio faster. Was, I was using the old, a much older, and less fast loading for the audio, and that's one of the slower pieces of the of the loading. Even though it's multi-threaded, so technically it's happening alongside. Uh, other loading, but it really does. It's especially with more and more audio still being added to the game, and, and including in beta 13, there's lots more. Uh, it does slow the game loading down. Oh, look at that! I'm in ASCII mode. That's what I'm normally in <laughs> myself. But anyway, um, yeah. So everyone is going to get uh, the benefit of that, right? With the next release, it's in X1 now, but or I think it's with X1 now. It is right. It's in X1, I think. Otherwise, otherwise it didn't count there. <laughs> that might, I can't even remember if this happened after X1, Luigi. <laughs> in fact, I was going to make the note that um, I have added so many things to beta 13 that I'm starting to forget what I added to beta 13, which is going to be great because then when beta 13 comes out, I'm like on a similar playing level to everyone else. I can enjoy it like uh, it's new. <laughs> I saw like, like recent days I've been noticing items and mechanics like, oh, wow, that's cool. I thought of that. Oh, wow, that's in there. <laughs> you know, I see these item names. And I'm like, what exactly does that do again? <laughs> anyway. It's uh, it's gonna be exciting. It's not an X one. Oh, okay. Then I'm not actually using it right now, Luigi, and it's gonna get even faster uh, because I'm playing right now. I on the regular X one. I should be playing a regular X one. I don't have anything else on Steam right now. Let's check. Uh, my version is uh, under. Uh, uh, wait a minute. What's under news? She have not played this in ages. X one. Yeah, I'm still playing the version from uh, July here. So yeah, I'm playing regular old X one. Uh, from July. I haven't loaded, I don't load anything else onto Steam until it's time to do a pre-release and then I do the final testing. I am technically on a different branch than X1. I'm on the testing branch. Um, but it's, right now they're the same thing. And they're generally the same thing except for right before pre-release when I need to make, you know, I drop it on Steam uh, just to see. But, uh, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Beta 13 patch notes added. You figure it out. Mm -hmm. I've actually, I, I must say, I, uh, um, I've i wanted to do that for years. I want to do, a, I don't know, I can't imagine this would ever happen, um, but I had this thought that it would be really cool to just do a release that doesn't have a changelog. Um, basically, it's just an, a secret changelog. And, just, and literally intentionally pepper things all over the game rather than being in like one or two spots. Put like a little things, little things here and there just all over the place. Uh, and that might not even be too difficult, especially if they're not massive things, you know. We'd spend a few weeks just uh, adding cool stuff here and there, which I think that could work. But it's it, that's more of a, a filler type stuff that can that can come in later. Because right now, I mean, especially with Beta 13, this is a major expansion. I'm working on, uh, you know, a new faction, new map, and all the tech that goes along with them. This is uh, not something you don't want to change log for, even though technically, like literally, the change log for all these new mechanics is not I added mechanic A, mechanic B, and explaining it. It's literally okay. There's a hundred new items in beta 13. Go find them and see what they do. Right? That's uh, there's still a change log, and it's actually a very long one, but. It's not explaining what any of these items do, because that's always been a part of the discovery. The items, the lore, the NPCs. We've got a lot of that coming. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> we'll just pretend we've never heard of Scrap Town. <laughs> Easter egg hunt kind of idea. Yeah, yeah. I, I've, I've done Easter egg hunts before. Um, Easter egg hunt. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like the... I mean, we did the, the, the whole uh, lore one, too. That was the, the ARG lore ARG, which I, I like. I, I like that, that that was done because it really, uh, I don't know, it gave people an idea of a lot of the things that can come, some of which will come, including me. I have a kind of kind of laid out a little bit of a roadmap for a lot of things that will be. Um, Terminus says, would you say the beta 13 is the single biggest one you've put out in terms of new additions? Oh, absolutely. This is, this is the biggest by far for new additions. Um, 
I mean, the only things that come close to this are actually uh, alpha versions because the alpha versions were adding whole new maps as well. But the difference between alpha and, and, and beta versions were that, well, first of all, the game was simpler. It was easier to add a map. And, um, uh, right, whereas now it has to balance in with everything else and interconnect with everything else. And there's more to connect with now. So it takes longer. Plus, there's just more content uh, in this map uh, and related to this map than in any single previous map. So, for example, um, uh, and the other the, the difference was when I went in, when I was working on the alpha versions, I had actually already done all the items before the game even released. That was all done in pre-alpha. And then during alpha, I just started adding more items. Um, you know, I guess one of the exceptions would be, for example, I mean, you've got Zion. Scrap Town is, you know, it's naturally, as you would expect, it's going to be similar to kind of with Zion. There's a different faction there. They've got some of their own tech. They've got, uh, you know, different NPCs and whatnot. It's like Zion, only uh, different. <laughs> um, right, ARG a little different. Um... Uh, is it not? Uh, was it not an X one? Oh, you were saying it's not an X one. Yeah, well, yeah, it's gonna be faster, Luigi. Sorry, I'm reading back the chat. I gotta get back into doing this now. Um, <laughs> hey, Zyle, I haven't seen you for a while. Yeah, great job at avoiding spoilers. I don't even know where Scrap Town is or what it looks like. Yep, it will be new and shiny. I mean, most people don't know. No one knows what it looks like. I haven't actually shown it yet, but um, uh, most people do have a, a clue of where it is or know or clear on that. But anyway, yes. Oh, it'll have plenty of deep lore implications. Lots of lore. There's going to be a ton of lore. I'm going to destroy all of your lore percentages. Um, uh, I'm going to destroy your lore percentages. It's going to leak leaked wall tile. Right, there it is. The leaked wall tile. The hash character. Um, that's good. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, there will be more lore. It's it's big on lore. Um, I mean, it, it as a new map and new faction, it needs to be, uh, but it also will be. There's just a lot. You know, there'll be a lot of cool stuff in there, um, interconnected too with the rest of the game. Um, you know, I haven't gotten to the interconnection as much of the interconnection parts yet, but it has to connect. That's the thing. You know, earlier, like I was saying, if you add a faction, you know, and there aren't many other factions in the game, you don't have to worry about their relations with one another. But the more you add, the bigger the web gets, and you know, we have to consider, you know how everyone relates to this one faction. Um, and also, there's a lot more material to, to reference. So, uh, <laughs> we'll put you back at 69, Chris Sandwich. No, not really. It's not gonna, I, don't, I can't imagine it would be that much. But actually, I'm quite curious what the percentage was. In fact, it was a few days ago, I was thinking I should go and compare what the if you have 100% lore when beta 13 comes out what does the percentage actually go to and and use that as kind of an interesting measure i'm i'm quite curious on that myself um anyway okay we should probably actually get started playing i just haven't streamed it forever so i thought i'd do a little bit of talking about uh yeah the state of the game and what's been going on and what will be going on but yeah working on beta 13 and the map's coming together the main new map not sub caves so what are we going to do on this run probably turn on tiles so that people who aren't used to uh ask you actually know what's going on uh, i don't actually have a plan for this run at all i just wanted to do some streaming and uh and uh, say hi and hopefully get back into regular streaming again and also wanted to make sure that uh windows 11 did not destroy my streaming setup and it pretty much worked everything worked normally uh hopefully the audio is going to be good here the audio was not working when i started obs but that's kind of normal for OBS, I had to go into the options and set it all, which is, I, I really, I'm really glad I had a screenshot of my settings uh, for the audio settings, I, or all the settings, my stream settings, I basically did a screenshot of all the different uh, software that's required and, and what settings need to be, because OBS, you know, it forgets my, what the audio setup is, like every time or all the time, and uh, I need, I needed to check out what it was, which is good, because I literally have like audio options on OBS, there's like 20 of them, because I have so many different uh, pieces of hardware and software related to that. <laughs> and each one adds its own uh, multiple different options. So, and it would take forever to figure out which one was the right ones. OBS, yes. Oh, it's so annoying. Why do they do that? <laughs> Why can't it just remember the actual setting from the last time? <laughs> Sometimes it works. Sometimes it just disappears and says, oh, the audio is not working. Like, what? Anyway, so fortunately, I had the screenshot so that I just referenced that and solved the problem pretty quick. Okay, let's see. Oh, wait, I don't want a small laser. I should also, let's uh, 
This is also because Roddy remembers how to play Cogmind. Um, because I haven't, you know, I've been testing, you know, I just had a lot of testing and all, but I don't actually, yeah, I've been playing. There's a big difference between testing and playing. Don't tell Gamma Funk I said that. I'll come and argue with me. <laughs> Infinite gun build. Hmm. Go on the most basic run possible. No black magic developer knowledge. <laughs> I don't use black magic developer knowledge. I have, I have very little knowledge. <laughs> I saw that bouncy rocket test. Yeah, I did a bouncy rocket test. And that was actually about tech that I said was not going to be in beta 13. And then you know what I did? I added it to beta 13. <laughs> that was something that I built just for fun at one point. The, the ability, ability to deflect projectiles. And I only did it because I, need, I wanted some of the little project to do. And I really wanted that in the game. So I put it in there without actually knowing where it would be used. And I assume it would be used for the Unchained in beta 14. But then... Uh, I ended up adding already to beta 13 some items that can do that. I mean, why not, right? I got the tech. We can we can do it. <laughs> One step closer to making a Cogman an anime protagonist. Let me tell you, yes. I even added some anime references to beta 13. Those those might be hard to find, but they're in there. <laughs> Quite hard to find, probably. You will find them. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there, there, there's uh, definitely some anime references. Partially because I actually... Um, uh, I have no doubt that I was influenced by Bleach. Um, I actually... I watched Bleach through all of its early years and all the way until they stopped putting it out, the anime. And I recently realized that they started doing Bleach again. Um, a final, final story arc. And uh, yeah... <laughs> when does Warlord shout Bankai? Yep. <laughs> so yeah, I caught up on Bleach. I haven't done that in a while. That was fun. I did that in uh, recent recent weeks. Realized that they had uh, a couple new... Uh, the last... Uh, first two cores of the last uh, final arc, which would be cool. Uh, anyway, yeah, I was always a big uh, Bleach fan. I thought that was fun. Just always one-upping people with bigger and more powerful weapons and, and, and tactics and tech, right? <laughs> so yeah. Uh, that uh, at the same time, I was working on some interesting stuff in Beta 13 that I think will be. Uh, might have been influenced by that a little bit. Uh, let's see. Okay, these are good. All right. So, big gun stack, huh? Oh, yeah, right. I have a small. I have, why I didn't even pick up a storage yet? I should probably go do that. I'm not even paying attention to what I'm doing here. I'm more interested in uh, just, uh, you know, talking, apparently. Alright, wait, what's over here again? Okay, let's go back and pick up that storage. Uh, do I, you know what? I'm going to actually get a storage schematic. Purge threat. No, thank you. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, we'll get that one. Then, okay, we'll do that. Uh, who knows what we'll need later. Oh, wow, look at that. It's giving me everything. I don't actually remember what else I might want. I wouldn't want that. I don't really need anything else. Gonna make one of the chain reference to one of the Aaron cards. <laughs> I actually don't have that on my list. Uh, there's a long list of Unchained that I've been putting together over the last several years. A uh, big list of Unchained, and many are references, not all, but um, yeah, that that would be that could be a reference. It depends. It's because you know, it mainly comes about uh, the Unchained are mainly about. It's more ability first. Not always, I guess. I shouldn't say that. It's some of them are ability first, then come up with a, a rel relevant name, and some of them actually the name the character first and come up with abilities that support that. Um, there are different approaches to it. But for the most part, I try to do ability first. Um, except, but the early examples that I had listed for myself for, for reference were like, uh, yeah, definitely from other... Uh, I'll do that for so I can get traced. I just did that for fun. Don't recommend it. Oh, okay, there's swarmers. But yeah, I guess we have some bleach fans in uh, in chat as well, huh? <laughs> All right. Oh, they're still over there. Oh, they killed their friend. Oh, there were three swarmers, but now there's two swarmers. Now there are zero swarmers. Hmm. All right, fine. I guess I'll grab that. Oh shoot, a little overweight now, aren't we? All right, fine. This should really be in. Uh, Whoa, we're really overweight. That's huge storage. Hmm. Okay, fine. Maybe we'll do wheels. Uh, let's see. Give me a wheel. There we go. You give me a wheel too. There we go. Yeah. 
That's what I like. Wheels. I should have just taken wheels to start. Why don't we grab anything but wheels? Right? Now I got more wheels. <laughs> they deal cringe damage so you can't resist them. <laughs> <laughs> Their special abilities making anime references. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, what is the plan for this run? I don't actually have a plan. I need to come up with one. Um, not that I'm confident I'd be pull, able to pull off any kind of difficult plan. Right now I'm just kind of fooling around. Obviously we can also... Technically we could go to the subcaves. Um, I was not... I'm going to wait just a little bit. See, right now I'm waiting because uh, there was a grunt up here. He's either going to go, he's probably, I mean, he's going to go in some direction, right? And so if I wait and he doesn't come south, that means he went some other way and we're safe to go. And if he comes south, then uh, we'll kill him anyway. So, uh, and obviously this, this guy warned somebody, it's either a squad or a sentry. All right, it's a squad of swarmers. Sure, whatever. Wow. Where'd everybody, oh, where'd else go? Is, he's, is he alone? No, the other swarmers ran away and they're back and they're gone. You done? <laughs> oh, there's the other one. But he doesn't know we're here. So... I mean, maybe we should still go to... Uh, if we Actually, though, if we do go... We're not really going to be set up to go to the sub-caves, are we? Uh, he's just sitting there. Okay, now he's not. Alarm trap. That means there's more alarm traps right below us here. No, oh, sentries. Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So, no, it shouldn't be sentries even. Yeah. I, 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 uh, my cogmind sense is, is very low at the moment. Anyway, I'm open to, uh, re uh requests or any kind of run type. Uh, and I, mm, yeah, I, mean, I guess we'll go through an entire run, as in if the run wouldn't be completed this stream and we can uh, continue through additional streams because there's a definitely a big difference between uh, if, um, a difference in what you're going to do if you're going to do uh, multiple uh, streams and, or just one stream like last time I just did a single stream so I just ended up killing myself because uh, <clears throat> it wasn't going to go on anyway that was just an intro to beta 13 that's the only one I've done actually Run type, don't do what MDF tells you if he shows up. <laughs> that actually sounds like a funny run type. Um, it could be. Uh, <laughs> mm, probably should keep it regular. I'm going to skip uh, everything else down here. And instead, I will accept the gun gun approach. Now I have too many guns. Oh, seismic detector. Oh yeah. Huge storage still. Hmm. Alright, we're 135. Not terrible. Guess we can grab a small matter pod. Why not? So the only you now we just can't see so warmers. <laughs> Silence is trophy mode. Gotta equip one part from every squad you destroy. Huh. That's actually a funny idea. I, I think that's a cool idea. Alright, I see there's a sentry around the corner. I wouldn't mind destroying something uh, from the sentry, right? Actually, wait. I don't even have enough firepower to get through this wall. <laughs> Uh, I need some explosives or something. Yeah, just shoot me. Shoot me. Do it. Alright, yep. We can see you approaching. Yep, around the corner you come. Prepare to die. Ah, wait a minute. But what if the... What if I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm using weapons that annihilate salvage? <laughs> A little spin on the scavenger run. Yeah, I actually do like, I mean, I like playing scavenger style. It's actually a really fun way to play for me. It's a, 
you know, it's a pretty typical, uh, it's kind of how Cogmine was built um, with that kind of intention. Not that everyone's going to play that way, but oh, uh, look at this guy. Which is your terminal? It's probably a northern one, is my guess. Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, it's the northern one. I figured it was, because he went north instead of northeast-ish. <gasps> Look at that warning. We should have had another botnet out. <laughs> now we're going to fail. Oh, we're still, we still might get it, though. Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, all right. It locked, but it loaded. Shoot, but it got traced, which means he's not going He's not going to turn. <laughs> okay, fine. Whatever. <laughs> That didn't work. Oh, all right, there's sentry. I mean, a uh, uh, patrol there. Um, if you get no bars to run, immediately lost. It's got it's 5,000 physical damage. <laughs> Wait, some hacks, hacks have botnet requirements? No, no, that that's actually a funny idea, Zylan. Wow, I didn't even think of that one. I thought of a lot of different ideas related to botnet, but I didn't think of botnet required hacks. Although, I've definitely we've considered the idea of hacks where you have to install like multiple things, and that was kind of a new kind of botnet something where you have to set kind of like triangulate set things up on multiple terminals in order to get some another level other level of hack it's kind of nice but no that's not a requirements island that's um that was a, a a purely a notification that you were close enough to success that if you had another botnet elsewhere you would have succeeded it's kind of a way to troll botnet haters not really it's also it, you could think of it as a useful tool um kind of to show you kind of a teaching tool for one thing to let people know that, um, you know, if you had a botnet, it could have, you know, gotten that, um, you would have succeeded. It just kind of gives you a little, a, a, a slightly uh, clearer picture of the usefulness of botnet. All right. There they go. Yep. Okay. Now they saw me. And <laughs> yes, <laughs> MTF must know. Yeah, it's purely a UI thing, and it's optional too. It's not something that's always there. So people who don't even know Botnet exists wouldn't uh, probably wouldn't turn that on or even know what it means. But um, it's it's just an option for fun. Oh wait, am I supposed to attach this stuff? I could do that. Uh, let's we could do a trophy mode type thing. That's kind of interesting. All right, I'll attach this engine. But then what? I can't I can't just take something from my inventory. <laughs> when can I swap things out? Does that mean I have to like force fuse it? How am I going to remember all those parts? Oh, I killed that guy. Well, that's okay. I can take his wheel. Alright. Make it auto enable itself in MTS account so he can't turn it off. <laughs> I should just make it always say uh, <laughs> that he needed another botnet. But no, I don't think I did. I wonder if I did that. I have done things specifically to MTF. That's true. <laughs> Mail button ending. <laughs> yes, make button ending. An unfortunate typo. Yes. Uh, make button ending. Yeah. They, I guess there's kind of a button ending when you take over the complex. Oh wait, I can't. Wait, that means I also can't kill stuff that uh, we don't want uh, parts from, if it's optional anyway. Wait a minute, that means I can't kill green bots very as often. Uh, I feel like that sentry is not going to catch me. I'm going to move at 135. Actually, we're kind of slow. Oh, mines! I'm not going into the mines. You can't bait me to go into the mines. Not without my launcher. All right, the sentry gave up, but he's actually no, he didn't give up. You know, he's, he's just coming back this way. And now there's another sentry and some swarmers. All right. Oh shoot! I don't know how this is gonna work. I could probably turn off the cannon. Well, actually, now I'm gonna need the cannon. I could turn it off. I could have turned it off. Oh, the other sentry is giving up. Oh shoot! He went the other way. Well. Somebody got alerted. Nice block. Wait, 
Wait a minute, this guy's a small storage unit. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna work. <laughs> As in, it's hard to see the rules. All right, the sentry is going around the other side. Oh shoot, there's another sentry there. Ah, I don't see how this is gonna work. It's an interesting idea, but without a way to more clearly enforce it, it's gonna be too confusing. Construction progress, Oh, Seriously? Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. Interesting thought though. All right, finally, I could size downsize my storage here. Uh, large would be fine even at the moment. That way you can speed up a bit. Uh, shoot. Yes, yes, yes. There we go. All right. What did you drop? You dropped my wheel. Don't drop my wheel. Got too much junk anyway. Um, carry around the storage of spare, and we definitely have too much junk. Let's see. Let's pull off. Switch over this mode. Ho ho. Oh, that's right, Luigi. Four weapons, slots, and two wheels. It is a kid's dream. Um, maybe we can go with more weapons. That could be fun. Never have enough weapons. Okay, wait. Uh, all right. If that's the case, then I should probably head this way. Because I want to leave, but not through the mines. Oh uh, wait. What's it? There's another sentry to the. No. No, it's a grunt. grunt. Okay, I was going to say there's someone over there. Alright, we'll wait here and kill you. Do I have any weapons? Okay, I got a few weapons left. What is that coming from the west? <laughs> that is a very ominous bunch of guys. They're not splitting up. Okay, they are splitting up. All right, there's a high chance that that's a hostile group. You can tell because they split up. I'm pretty sure these guys were all coming straight down the corridor and now they're splitting because some of them can get through this door easily and some through that door. So my guess is this is a squad. Yeah, it's a squad. Grunts, it's okay. Ooh, armor. Oh man, my fat butt sticking around the corner. Oh, shoot, all right then. It's okay, I got more of those. Oh, double kill gonna step around the corner again at me. Lost my seismic. That was actually pretty cool. I wish I had another one of those. I didn't carry another one though. But there's armor here. I put that on. I should probably in this encounter have been used not using a cannon because there's too many guys around. A lot of guys around, you want to generally use a lot of guns if you've got uh, this many slots. Got a lot of slots. Cooling system. That's going to come in handy pretty soon, I think. Dropping all legs because we have a lot of prop. And actually, I want to get out of here, but I also want to check if there's anything in here, and there's not. What? <laughs> I think my negative nine of roughly 12 improved assault and four functional enhanced auto guns. No way. Actually, I'll, let me see what's on this floor then. Uh, here we go. Oh, I've got, I've got spread lasers <laughs> and light EM pulse. As soon as I see light EM pulse, I think deep caves. Um, anyway. I guess we don't have anything cool. Hmm. The problem is that legs are also armor, but they have nobody to live in other days. Yes. Weapons as armor. I do the weapons as armor actually can work okay as long as you're using crap weapons. Alright, there it is, my rocket launcher. I knew I needed I knew he's gonna get a rocket launcher soon, right? Uh, let's see, grab that. Do I need anything? I don't really actually need anything. Let's do a basic, actually, you know what I do need to do? But not really, but, wow, zero. Should have done a botnet. That's the game saying, should have done a botnet. Oh, con well, what? Huh, that seems to be a rare find on the ground, huh? Concussive RPG, huh.
Not for Cogmind. <laughs> Let's see. What's in here? Prototype engines. Hmm. Ion cannons. Maybe I should upgrade to something that's not low rating. Even though... Oh, that's right. I can put on a cooling system. There we go. Uh, we'll drop that because it's low on integrity. The thing is, I'm not going to be able to use a lot of cannons. I think we're only going to be stuck with guns. Right, heavy ion. Going to be stuck with guns because we've got a lot of slots. That is kind of annoying because I really like using big cannons too. I don't know. Maybe we'll. If I don't get too many more uh, weapon slots, maybe we can use a, a bunch of big cannons. Oh, fine. We'll check. No. Should have done that first. Flat cannon. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Alright, now we have too many cannons. Ah, should have stepped over. That was dumb. Here we go. Look, this is bad because I have uh, I moved, which means lower accuracy. I should have, should have should have sat in that corner before I fired, since there was another enemy there. Moving over would have been a better move, so that I could fire down the entire quarter. Well, at least he dropped his uh, assault rifle. That'll be useful. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, shoot. Okay. I haven't seen these guys in a while. I uh, haven't seen you guys for months. <laughs> All right, what are we at? We're moving at 105. Oh, shoot. Hmm. Katana. I actually kind of want that. Oh, there's also heavy armor in here. kind of want that, too. Hmm. Let's see. We can drop the improved ion engine and also... Get rid of that targeting computer. Just random junk in my inventory here. Okay. Friggin' A. Can't even get that. Alright, we'll have Hunter Company soon, too. Whoa, what? What's he doing? Okay, there he is. Damn. Couldn't get them both in one shot. Not bad, though. Oh, I love weapons. Kill everything. Uh, let's see. Let's grab another piece of armor. That could be nice. Compact. Oh, I lost a wheel. Oh, shoot. Oh, that's right. It wasn't an armored one. Never mind. Good. I was looking at the wrong slot. Don't want to lose my armored wheel. Oh, Gauss rifle. Yeah, I should probably grab that, too. Mm, heavy assault. Drop one of those. Hey, Dumla Kang. Dumalakath, happy to see ya. <clears throat> Getting to see a lot of uh, a lot of people we haven't seen for a while. We've got a number of people also who just hang out in the uh, in the streams, but never uh, or don't see elsewhere. Uh, what if the topmost item in the equipment list counters being at the front and the bottom was at the back of Cogman, and they would take more or less coverage bonus respectively? I mean, that would obviously change all the balance. <laughs> Break everything. <laughs> everything. Yeah, I should probably carry a hammer, too. Hmm? Carrying hammers is good. High-powered shotgun. Also not bad. Hmm. The problem with them is they just not much range. All right, what other weapons do we have here? Ah, I still have a light assault rifle. Okay, let's get rid of damaged heavy assault rifle. Get rid of light assault rifle. Grab another shotgun and also grab this. And then we're going to swap out the shotgun for a Gauss rifle, just for the range. I have a lot of cannons right now, though. <laughs> we could have shields and backpacks. Yeah, actually, I did uh, at one point, in fact, many times in Cogmine's design history, I have considered allowing, in a couple special cases, for certain items, their position in your list to matter. Um, I've never been able to make it really work but um basically the idea was that you could get modifiers um like an entire modifier type uh, of part that you could slot in for like a weapon and it would modify whatever's above it 
and it would basically kind of be attached to whatever's above it. So if you move, like you you put them, uh, you put a modifier here, um, some kind of module basically that attaches to the Gauss rifle to mod to uh, give it some extra abilities or whatever, and they would move together. Then um, uh, it occupies its own slot. Uh, it sounds cool. I mean, it sounds really cool in theory. But the design just doesn't, never really worked out. The main problem came down to it being anything that takes up a slot has to be worth the slot it's taking up. And so you have to have, um, I mean, it has to be good enough to be worth it. And it also ha there also has to be enough variety to justify adding this entire new mechanic. And I think the, one of the biggest problems there was there wasn't enough variety to make that even worthwhile. You might as well just have other parts. Um, and uh, it's it's a little too niche uh, for what would be pretty a pretty large mechanic uh, architecturally wise. So that never happened. Uh, the sorting wouldn't ruin it. Th it wouldn't be ruined though, because again, it, they would basically work together. They'd sort together too. But yeah, it's a way to turn single slot into multi slot. And I mean, there there you can think of. There's a lot of different trade offs. But in the end, it, it just didn't seem worth it. Like there wouldn't be enough interesting new abilities you could gain from that that you couldn't already gain through other more flexible means. Um, so it just it just never was really worth it. Oh, kids, I forget it, but do you know about the asymmetry and being able to target and hit sentries from around corners? I mean, yeah, that's a standard thing in Cogmind, asymmetry. Uh, it's always been that way. I mean, that's why sometimes people can hit you and you can't hit them, or you can hit them and they can't hit you, because at, at the corners, it's always been that way. Uh, it's in the manual, too. Talking about... Uh, uh, some corner angles work. I mean, yeah, they sh some corner angles should work. I, I mean, yeah, I'd have to see specific examples, but yeah, I mean, some might work, some might not work. That's that's that would be normal. All right, so anyway, we hit a dead end there. Actually, technically, you can probably go through the wall out there and do a little bit of digging. Uh, the alternative actually is to go through the middle, which is a bad idea. In fact, you know what? We should probably go up here. It'd be safer. This guy needs to get out of the way. There's probably a way to through. Get out of my way. <laughs> All right, that'll work too. Uh, problem with wheels, I can't run these guys over. Okay, let's see. I do not have an effective way. I actually have an ion cannon. Ion cannons can sort of dig, right? What is this? 24, yeah. Can sort of dig. Fine, I won't dig that spot. That's not a good direction. Hmm. Alright, I made that hole for Luigi. Luigi, get in that hole. <laughs> All right, we'll try this other direction. Surprisingly, wow. All right, now I'm getting stubborn. Uh, how much matter do we have? We have an okay amount of matter. Wow, that's that's not good. This <laughs> is still a safe dig. Yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd I wouldn't mind going there. It's not like I have anything important. Main problem is there's it doesn't lead to anything, which is kind of surprising. It must, there must, it must be a little further out. So that's okay. We will uh, ignore that area then. <laughs> I guess we'll go back anyway. Hmm. Cogmine's shadow origin is the top right corner of the subtile? Uh, no, it should be the middle. I mean, I don't know. It depends. Uh, it's, it, I, I, anyway, I, I can't really speak to the details. I'd have to see uh, what he's referring to. Out of the way. All right, wait a minute. Should I grab some wheels? I should probably up my wheels again. There we go. Repaired. Wheels repaired. Free wheel repairs. Uh, let's see. Wait. High powered shotguns. Yeah. I don't need that. Actually, data jack. Uh. <laughs> LLY, you're saying. Can't believe I'm giving up digging when <laughs> kids are always giving up digging and then they're one tile away from finding something cool. You know what? I, that's always what happens. So we can just imagine that what you know what was up there that was cool. 
Okay, sorry. Finally found another dude there, and there's a cycler down here. Cyclers are kind of cool. That dude is... Where's he going to go? He's probably went south. Yeah, he stepped away from the door. Step away from the door. This is an unescorted hauler. Uh-oh. Now I'm going to get spotted. Unless this machine blocks the view. Well, it did block the view. All right, fine. Let's have some fun in here, then. All right, that's right. It's not going to target this guy. Wow. Okay, I'm, I'm good aim. All right, I am going to step back here. Right, how much is this? 30? Damn it. Freaking... Why do they have to armor their nuclear reactors? I guess I have weak weapons right now. Huh. Well, that's not good. All right, I think I might want to step out of this room. Goodbye. <laughs> no, actually I don't. Sheesh, can you blow up already? I wish I had a more powerful weapon, because honestly, I want to blow these up. Okay, there we go. Can the room explode now, please? It's not going to explode until it'll give me the least benefit. Okay, all right. That was at least some benefit. <laughs> Ooh, I got the tile bug. It's in my inventory. All right. Uh, oh, yeah. I guess it's not out yet. Uh, in the next the next beta 13 release, I was just remembering about, you know, inventory and all. It's uh, the, the it resource. The inventory sorting works differently. Uh, by uh, remembering, you know, whenever you add and subtract items, it remembers the location of the inventory, which is going to be a big change, I think, for people, including me. <laughs> Let's see, what do I lose? I lose my armor here. Uh, I don't have a replacement light armor. There we go. <laughs> yes, exactly. I, I armored their reactors, I know. <laughs> That's a breaking change to walk mind. Um, yeah, I'll have to figure that out, huh? <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, no, that's the other thing. That's part of the reason the original behavior was, there was a number of reasons the original behavior was like it was, but part of the reason is, is it's 100% consistent. The new behavior will not be consistent, uh, but it will have other advantages, so. <sighs> You'll figure it out. I mean, obviously we can add stuff, other things to, to fix it up as well. But yeah, it's uh, it's more complicated now. I should probably grab some matter. Okay, yes, uh, I was gonna grab that matter, then it blew up. I should probably grab some wheels too. I wonder what our alert is after the little nuclear escapade there. Yeah, thank you. All right, did you actually drop anything good? Okay, well actually, train scanners are good. I don't know if I'll actually use one, but hmm. All right, let's see what we have in our inventory here. It's not exactly a huge inventory. And drop this damaged wheel and grab a terrain scanner. We'll probably drop that later too, but that's okay. Oh, so I'm still carrying these treads, old treads. Hmm. Just kind of a backup emergency thing. A little something that's propulsion that's stronger than wheels, basically, that, but that I don't want to use now. Coupler, this guy needs to die. Still in materials. I should leave materials. Sounds like a good idea. Um, but first, yes. Oh my god, see, look at that. If I had done botnet earlier, <laughs> that one time that I was supposed to do botnet. Technician. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Damn it. Alright, fine. Probably should go north, but I'm not going north. Alright. Hardened light armor. All right, okay, this guy hasn't seen me yet. Now he's seen me. Good job. Let's uh, let's see. I'm gonna want more reactors. Hmm. I do kind of want that armor. Let's use this. Uh, Fifteen percent. This isn't gonna work. Figured. Compact battery. All right, it's hammer time. I wish I had my seismic right now. Yes, perfect timing. I needed the seismic to time that right, but it worked out in the end. Not that I don't think this is going to change what happens in the end. Is he going to go back the other way, actually? All right, there he is. He went the other way. Yep, I faked him out just so that I could face this guy alone. <laughs> 
and hit everyone in the hallway. Yes. Okay. Ion Can is doing the work. Uh, okay. Now I'm gonna get mauled by engine. Oh yeah. So many engineers here. The sentry is gonna be like, oh, I can't get to my targets. <laughs> All right. Now he's gonna shoot me. As soon as he passes that engineer. I guess one trick would be to blow up, blow a wall up right next to me. Then the engineer will, well, no, actually, it'd be, it'd be claimed by a different engineer. I was going to say, engineer will turn around, head over here, and f all right, now he's finally ready. He gets to shoot me once only, though. There we go. Actually, I want to turn this way. No, wait, I want to turn it this way. No, wait, I want to turn this way. Okay, yeah. Finally decided which way I wanted to fight this guy. Does matter. Just because of where the stray shots are going to go, and also the fact that, yeah, these guys are going to skip through the door, which I didn't know about. That's okay. I'm still okay. Everything's okay. Don't worry about me. <laughs> oh, what the heck? Seriously? I didn't kill more of them? Sheesh. You guys are tough. Think you're tougher than me, though? You'd be wrong. Flat Cannon did not finish the job twice. Wow. Oh, this guy's... Alright, he's overheating. I'm not going to shoot him anymore. Oh, I lost my cooling system. That's going to change things. Okay, anyone have any heat sinks? Uh, I don't see any heat sinks. Nearest heat sinks are not here. Okay, I'm going to have to turn off the iron cannon because then we'll overheat. But I have other stuff to fire. Okay, I'll shoot that. I'll lose that. That's fine. I'm cool with that. I'll put on another shotgun. Oh, yeah. Now you're going to be toast. Got two shotguns and a flat cannon. And the other guy got his gun either disabled or burned off. Uh, it probably just disabled. He'll be back later. Overheated. Disabled his gun. There he... Is that him? Coming back. Same guy. Finally got him. Sheesh. Need to get closer to kill him with his shotguns. Okay. Hmm. That worked out well. Enough. <laughs> My inventory is still full, which is always a good sign. Oh, my slots are not full, though. That's a bad sign. Uh, let's see. Is there anything over here? No. Let's see. Are there any heat sinks? The nearest heat sink is uh, way over there. Cute. I can see the die inside are immortal. <laughs> I thought they all claim it. No, I mean, it's always, it's a single engineer that will claim the slot, the spot. Um, they won't all claim it. Well, actually, no, wait. You know what? Maybe I'm wrong. I haven't worked on that in a while. It's items that can be claimed. Engineering targets are not claimed. That's why you do get a bunch of engineers going for the same target, I believe. Yeah, engineers don't claim targets. Or, I mean, their their claim does not uh, mean others cannot go there, basically. But with, uh, for example, recyclers. Recyclers will actually claim a target. Ah, that's what I needed. Armor, yes. Actually, we have a lot of core left. We're in perfectly fine shape. There's also a repair station there. Actually? Oh, wow. Only one integrity left. Let's repair this wheel. Scan our wheel. Repair the wheel. Oh, yeah. Actually, wait a minute. Uh, let's go for us, but no. Actually, don't want to mess up my chances here. Uh, let's see. While we're waiting for this. Let us put on a really messed up wheel. That's a good idea. Let's also check out what's in this other room. Ooh, armor. On a heavy particle cannon and advanced treads. Hmm. Not bad. Oh. Good job, Mr. Engineer. Okay, got my wheel back. Also annihilated that swarmer. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm seeing what's going to happen here. That is a lot of projectiles being fired over there. I'm going to head north. Yep, there it goes. <laughs> oh, I found the heavy. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I mean, you, you really need uh, more powerful weapons to take down. I mean, really any bot. If you've got, uh, if you've got the damage threshold beyond their core, you're going to have a much higher chance of taking them out faster. If you need to hit, if you need multiple to land multiple core hits, yeah, it's going to be pretty random. <laughs> yes, <laughs> this is true. 
the arm of those nuclear reactors hmm, for clear reasons. All right, VSS legs. Um, what else up here? Reflective plating, and I'm still in materials. <clears throat> All right, I need some matter. Um, can't even get a layout zone. Sheesh, friggin' need Trojans. Bad hacker, bad hacker. Also doing more hacking than I normally would do. Oh, there's a rocket launcher. Can't pass up on a rocket launcher. For this, we will drop messed up treads. Put on another wheel. Grab that. Uh, the star storage units over there could replace mine, but it's barely damaged. Hard light generator. We'll replace that. Might as well. Got a mostly damaged wheel. Let's throw that away too. All right, that heavy is probably standing on an exit, which is not good. Let's see. I wish I had some kind of info war. I wouldn't mind having some seismic right now. In fact, I'd like having some seismic. All right, what's this map layout? Is he on an exit? He's probably on an exit. He might not be on an exit. No, I think there's a good chance he's on an exit. And he just called reinforcements on us. No, that doesn't look like an exit. All right, the exit's to the west. They're coming from the exit. Shoot, look at that. See, that dig earlier was headed towards the exit. <laughs> All right, I don't have anything that can get through the wall at range. Okay, that's not a wall. That's not a way through. Marksman coming for us. Shoot. I don't see a good way to get over there, actually. I'm going to get reinforcements called out. That's an exit, though. Shoot, the other exit's over here. Oof. Ooh, that's not good. All right, you know, I think I'm going to have to fight these guys. That was an engineer, not... The guy who needs to die. That's right, specialists. Not so special anymore. Whew, getting a little hot here. Cannons will do that. Sheesh, well at this point, maybe I should just leave from this side. I was gonna head southeast, but screw it, I'm just going this way. There's the exit. Yep, I don't care. Alright. Made it out. Hmm. Specialist farms can be very profitable. Yeah, I've actually recommended that to someone else who was mentioning about heavies and uh, just saying how there can be they're so bad. But I was, it's 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 good to point out the other side is that they can also be good because they can send they can be out of depth. They they already have pretty decent uh, parts that can be harder to find. They also, you can meet out of depth versions that'll, you know, obviously have the even better parts that are generally harder to find or less common, um, among other bots, different stuff. But yeah, you can try to farm those. Always worth, uh, remembering. <clears throat> Personally, I like kind of farming the heavies, but, uh, the main reason I didn't go after that one is because I have, uh, I mainly want their cannon. I love using their cannons, but I already have a lot of weapon slots. Hmm. So, anyway, what am I going to evolve here? Chat, tell me what to evolve. And then maybe I'll listen. <laughs> maybe I won't. Although, I'd, I I don't know. I might, I might pick a wilder idea than chat, actually. Too util? No, too... What? <laughs> really? Seriously? <laughs> Whim is two weapons. Yeah, that's my whim too. All right, that, that's what I do when I'm trying to have a uh, maximum uh, crazy fun. Might need more util to support six weapons. E that's true. It depends on what you mean by support. <laughs> All right, we'll do that then. Honestly, when I'm fooling around uh, and running through materials as fast as possible, I just keep loading on weapons and. Uh, we can't use as many cannons. Uh, we can't use cannons anymore. But um, I just do that, and it actually it works for quite well for a while, actually. But yeah, you start you'll start to run out, and or, or need definitely need support. I can't even fill these slots. Go to a manufacturer. factory. Yes, definitely made in factory. Who is this guy going to this terminal? No, he's not. Shoot. Well, he's gone. Let's see. Uh, shoot. Bad hacker. 
Okay, yeah, sir. In the factory now. Ooh, guns. Also treads. Gun, 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 gun. Precision shock rifle. Sure, why not? Oh, check it out. Uh oh. Oh, that was nice of him. <laughs> he just happened to the pass through and repair this guy. Dude, get. Oh, he's he's carrying someone else. Yeah, he came in and repaired. That was pretty funny. I still can't rewire this guy. Man, that took forever. All right, we, that room's gonna explode if I get out of there. <laughs> Tractor beam. All right, let's see. Let's do put that light cannon on. All right, now we've got a lot of armor, a lot of gun armor. There's actually an item called gun armor in Beta 13. I would have gone for the programmer. Uh, you can't rewire programmers, though. Um, which actually, some of them, uh, many, most of the programmers that were rewirable have actually been removed from the game in other places where they were, where they did exist, and they were meant to be rewired, but you can't actually uh, rewire them. So, but that is apparently, that's one place where you can still see uh, disabled programmers. Um, but it's only being pushed around. It's not uh, something like it was before where you'd find them in a location where there would be other rewirable bots because that was kind of the intent. Mm hmm mm hmm I was not helping my friend. <laughs> Oh, lost a wheel. Cute. Whoops. Shoot. I was aiming at the wrong spot. Oh, wait a minute. Why is this on the ground? What the hell? <laughs> Alright, one second. This is a bit of an issue. And put on my armored wheel again. Also, wait, uh, shoot, that's right. I forgot. I, I forgot to pick that up. Yep. Yeah. No, you're shooting at me. Oh, there's a heat sink. I should probably pick that up too. All right, we're gonna need some guns. Also, definitely need some batter backup matter with a build like this. All right, let's see. Drop the heavy ion engine, which is getting beat up. Let's find out what's on this guy. What are uh, what is on you guy? Uh, build an antimatter reactor. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Two active buttons needed. <laughs> See, would have worked. Would have, should have, could have. All right, he's running away. Oh, I missed. Damn. I love hitting those guys with the uh, impact weapons. They just go flying. All right, maybe you have something nice. Use a hacking suite. Hmm, that's it. <laughs> hmm. Particle charger will pass. Okay, I just probably look where I am. Where am I? Located. Kind of want to, probably want to go to the caves too. Let's go west because it's near the edge of the map. Ah, oh, shoot. Got spotted by a sentry out there. Oh, that was a mistake. I thought he was going the other way. He was not. <laughs> Corner of the map. All right, well, there's not going to be an exit down there, so we'll go this way. <laughs> Getting stuck down there, Mr. Sentry. This is a dead end. Probably. Wow. There is a lot of power conduits back in these rooms. Hmm. A bit of armor. 
armor there. We've got a remote data jack. Mm, nothing special going on in here. Proto hover. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> Shoot. Uh, all right. Go this way then. Oh, whoops! I was not watching that guy. He came back. There he is. Thought he was gonna go the other way. Should have been on the lookout. Oh, he had a corrupt. He had a Gatling laser. Hmm. Good old shock rifle here. Corrupting guys. Trooper. Was gonna go northeast, which I guess I would have done if I had a more powerful weapon, but might need to get a hold of a digging cannon type thing. Yeah, whatever. Let's go that way anyway. Oh, great. <laughs> Why are you still alive? No, this cannon is actually now ruining our style here. <laughs> also, get a little hot. Finally, need to put on that heatsink. Have all these guns, I'm gonna whack him with a hammer. <laughs> no specific reason. Just kind of fun to kill these guys with hammers. Actually, that's something else you can do with a lot of slots. It's just a whole ton of hammers. Oh. Whoops. Whoa. Okay, that was actually pretty cool. Killed two engineers with a single hammer swipe. <laughs> First one uh, got knocked right into the second one. and They both uh, died to corruption there. One of them did, anyway. Structural scanner. Hmm, that's tempting, too. Also, yeah, that's right. I have, wait a minute. I have a... Uh, oh, I probably carry around some extra wheels. Oh, wait, I don't want corrupted wheels. Shoot, don't do that. Swing and a miss. Let's see, structural scanner. Might be kind of nice, though. Still carrying around extra treads. I'm going to drop one of my treads. Grab a structural scanner. Uh-oh. I saw a bonk boy. Oh, yeah. Okay, there we go. Gatling lasers. Lots and lots of Gatling lasers. Lots and lots of Gatling lasers. Oh, my God, there's a lot of Gatling lasers. Uh, I don't think I can actually fire that many Gatling lasers without melting. <laughs> I think we can drop... I don't know. Do I want to put on the huge storage unit yet? I kind of like you moving around at this speed. Let's see. What else have we got? Oh, I've got more armor. Also, the tractor beam, rocket launcher, structural scanner. I'm not going to use the structural scanner. I've got a bit extra, too much info wire here. Alright, where's that put our heat? 89. If we get shot by some grunts, though, we would not be able to maintain this kind of volley. Um, but we do need to carry some more weapons. Let's drop the flat cannon. We're not going to use that. That allows us to pick up another one. So I have another Gatling laser in reserve. Let's see what else we have. A flat gun, heavy hammer. Do we really leave this on? Uh, shoot. I can't really get rid of my spare wheel, even though it's crappy. We need to replace that with other less crappy spare wheels. Hmm. Can't actually pick these up. I wonder what our storage would go to. I mean, what our speed would go to if we swept, swept our storage. Huge storage. We're 105, 120. Okay, that's not bad. Oh, shoot. I let him. Oh, someone is not paying attention. No. Go away. Thank you. Okay, good. Oh, yeah, now we can swap targets. Nice. Mm, we can also overheat nicely. <laughs> it's getting shot by that grunt while fighting the other guy. A mace. Mm, I'm actually tempted to uh, do a bunch of melee fighting, too. I just like doing that. It's actually especially fun with impact. It's gotten fun, anyway. 
<laughs> Such low utilities. It's hilarious. Oh wait, wheel. Need a wheel. Yes. Shouldn't forget that. North, finally. That's the way I wanted to go. Medium treads. We're not gonna keep we're gonna keep going north. Heavy ion cannon, Gauss rifle. So for now we're gonna be ignoring cannons because they do not jive with this build. I'm gonna go through that wall because it's gonna save us some time. Then face off against a guardian who is going to be obliterated as soon as this worker decides to get out of the way. Perfect timing, man. Oh, wow, we took out his engine. <laughs> Alright, we'll replace our flat gun with your flat gun. Replace our armor with your armor. We'll be on our merry way. Hey, Lyra. <laughs> Who convinced Kiz to go gun stack? Kiz did. Well, Terminus encouraged it. He, but, you know, this is kind of like normal. I like playing gun stack, that's for sure. I don't usually stream gun stack, though. But if I'm gonna play myself, I like going gun stack. All right, we need some matter. I actually need some matter storage. I didn't pick up any early on because we didn't have a plan. But now we have a plan. And whoops! All right, you got in my way. Sorry, your fault. All right, let's find out what's in this thing. I got a second president plus plus sword meme. <laughs> yeah, I was actually thinking of melee a second ago, but I'm not sure I would actually use it. What is the next one I have? Oh, that's right, a high capacity if I wanted to drop down. But considering going wheels only, 120 is not too bad. It's been pretty random so far. Mainly just trying to get back into streaming here. A couple of nice, or uh, maybe plasma can is nice. Let's see what's on this thing. Anything loaded? A defender. Hmm, the elusive botnet I needed. Fine. Mm. Shoot, he can see me anyway. Crap, I was trying to, I was gonna go around and through this room, I guess. If I'd known, if I had a structural scanner, I could have, I would have gone west. That's the thing, right there, a structural scanner would have completely changed the outcome there. I wouldn't have to fight the sentry, because the structural scanner would have showed me that, uh... Well, actually, it wouldn't show these. Yeah, would. I'd be able to go west. I would probably have gone west. Well, I know, I know, yeah, I would have known that there was more space to the west, so I would have gone west. So that I, I would not, definitely not be seen there. So, that would have changed things. Oh, purge threat, direct pack, 20%. kind of wish I should... I need to put a Trojan out here, but it's direct hack, and I probably should lower the alert. And I completely wasted that. Okay, goodbye. Weapon cycler. Struct is incredible. Infowar. I did just drop mine. They all are. There's a lot of good Infowar out there. Everything's got its place. Another rocket launcher. Hmm. It's the day of rocket launchers. Programmers. Yeah, we're cool with that. Alright, well, and exit. Uh, that, who knows where that goes. The decoder chips. Hey, decoder chips are also good. Everything's situational. Alright, so we got a sentry behind us and in front of us here. Shoot, if I wait right here, I'm going to end up fighting both of them at the same time. Maybe. Alright, maybe not. If I kill this guy really fast, we're good. Well, I guess, I mean, we have six weapons, so he should die really fast, right? Uh, that's not more damage than my current Gatling laser. What about your heatsink? Yeah. Hmm, not bad. Oh, shoot. <laughs> less good. Not bad, less good. Um, all right, let's add to our alert. Whoops. Oh shoot, it's a fighter. Can we take him out before he gets here? That's right, we're standing in the hallway, all guns. Oh shoot. Should probably switch to another flat gun here, because these guys want to die. Current heat is 297. The fact that we're getting shot by multiple grunts is not good for our heat. 
Mm, that's bad. Oh, uh, well. I had an opportunity to leave, but I did not. It's okay. Mm. Nice. Heat sink, that's okay. Don't need that. It did its job. Cooled me down. Okay. So now, everyone's dead. <laughs> What do we got here? We don't need a power source. What do we got in? Uh, okay, he dropped his leg. Uh, there's another piece of armor over there. Actually, yeah, I guess I could replace that current one with that. And there's an auto gun and a bunch of matter. All right, so let's take. Uh, oh shoot! More friends. Should probably put on. Oh, okay. Sure. <laughs> let's put that another weapon on here. Grab this piece of armor and also. Wow, there's no wheels around. Guess we're not gonna put any wheels on. Makes sense. <sighs> oh, yeah, it's funny that you can get info from allied uh, ones, yeah, via uh, decoders. Yeah, I like the fact that you can. I mean, it doesn't work that you can get uh, in the uh, in intel from all allied sensors, but uh, it was decoder ships, it was rather helpful to have that. Everything's got its praise legacy integration mediator. Mm, it does. Well, it's uh, it was it was taken out with plans to put it back in in a different form, but didn't actually do that. Relay coupler. Oh, look at that. That was I didn't notice the relay couplers. That was a uh, coupler programmer there hmm that makes me want to go riff <laughs> that would make zero sense with this build um yeah also damaged gatling laser oh wait a minute i want that gatling laser don't i whoops oh no wonder i didn't see it, it was in here oh it was from that guy right right all right mm, matter all right yeah now let's pick up some matter matter it is more matter, matter. Matter matters. Okay. Gonna forget wheels. Wonder what our alert is. Do we get some more dispatches there? Wait, what was that? Garrison? Wait a minute, what? Ga oh, that was garrison reinforcements? Oh, no wonder. There's a garrison nearby. Huh. Oh, well, hanging out might not be a great idea then. <laughs> he says as he hangs out anyway. Where's the garrison? All right, let's see. Ooh, purge threat 40%. Oh my gosh. Oh, come on. Okay, thank you. At least I got one purge. I'd rather, I'd like to kind of know what my alert is at the moment, but there it is. Oh, shoot. Seriously? That timing. Could that have been better? <laughs> All right. They are slightly faster than me, which means I can't run away from them. One of them is anyway. I'm not going to move. I'm just going to shoot. Now I'm going to move. <laughs> yeah, the slow guy gets out in front. All right. Aww. I was hoping... That was what I was hoping to happen is that it would get them. <laughs> he's getting in front of his friend <laughs> who's having trouble catching up. Okay, now he's going to catch up. Maybe I should kill him now. I have such bad aim, though. We're all running. They're not here to talk. <laughs> they are not. He's going to almost catch up to me in a second i'm gonna just go yeah I, I gotta make it out just in time go where are we going yes to the next factory floor figured kind of wanted to head into the caves there but that's okay i don't know i think we probably have enough guns for now <laughs> finally can be rewarded with some other type of slot we'll do uh, utilities util slots all right because our wheels are, are doing just fine, right? But no, we need some more cooling. We can finally put on a little bit of Infowar. Uh, we'll start with um, the opposite of cooling. Some more armor, but... Definitely need better cooling. No Gauss cannon. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, recycling units. Recycling units are going to have something new in beta 13. Beta 13 hype. All right. Um, 0%. All right. Oh. Hmm. I haven't been there for a while. Let's go there, maybe. Seems like an idea. Does seem like an idea. Oh, wait. Uh, I'm not going to be able to build anything here. Thermic laser. Yeah, uh, exclamation mark. Did you see that? Huh. <laughs> so I'll pick one of those up. New gun. All right, let's see. We got a signal interpreter, angular momentum. Hmm. Well, we're not in any position now to get through there. But before, it's our chance on this door. Boom. Door open. Let's use it. Not worried about scandalizing. All right, look for heat sink. Ooh, that is a long corridor. Oh, there's some more hacking stuff over here. I'm gonna wait one turn so that I get much better aim. And fire everything at this dude over here and bring him down to two integrity, because of course. Great. And he steps out of the way, so I don't have a chance to kill him. All right, it's kind of nice that they're running away, because then I can get, I can cool off. Those two grunts were guarding this uh, hauler here, escorting it. Maybe. Just called for more help though. Improved hacking suite. I'm gonna pick that up. Hard light generator, heavy lasers. I'll grab some heavy lasers. My guns are getting beat up. Shoot. Oh no, that was my armored wheel. Yeah, we can't do this without more heat sinks. We're in danger level. It's like really bad to be this hot. I don't normally do that. Right, what else can I do? Let's go back to that. I need to lower our heat by basically just switching to different weapons, but I'm pretty much mostly Gatling laser. Okay. Come on down, heat. Oh, our heat sink being disabled is not helpful. All right, heat sink's operational again. You need to give me a heat sink. Nobody's giving me anything. Yeah, heavy lasers actually, I guess, kind of suck, huh? <sighs> heat sink. Can I get a heat sink from this guy? Uh, also, probably need some uh, propulsion. Oh, whoops, wrong, wrong button there. Spicy, yes, definitely spicy. Just trying to grab out some more parts before I take that door. Lost some armor, that's okay. Uh, got more armor. You did not die. Alright, you dropped his heat sink though. Advanced heat sink even, finally. Give me an advanced one. And also you guys need to hand me over uh, your wheels. Do that, please. Okay, I got a couple wheels. Let's get some more wheels. Stop picking up my wheels. Okay, good. Okay, we have spare wheels and greener wheels. And there's some more to the south, but I don't want to waste the time to go down there and pick them up. And what is our current heat? It's going to be plus 83 with this current volley. 
it's uh, not great. Heavy lasers, I guess, are pretty crappy, but it's true. I mean, grunts use them after all, right? Shoot traps. <gasps> Alright, that whole room's dangerous. <laughs> I see. Shoot trap. I say, I don't want to derail my current plans. Another thermic laser. Katana. Target analyzer. There's nothing else in this room that I want, though. This, In other words, I don't have to fight this sentry. But I do have to fight the sentry if I want to avoid all the shoot traps in the room to the north. Because there's definitely more shoot traps in that room. Walking through that room is dangerous. The other option is to walk north and literally just use launcher to clear out the room. Um, hmm. I think I'll just go after this guy. Gauss, wait for this guy to walk around the corner. Roast him. You are dead. Okay, we can grab that. Let's take his armor. And that's good. No, oh, shoot. Well, um, uh, I, I forgot. I don't have a... God damn it. That was dumb. I did a force ram on the wall. All I did was disable something and, uh, let's see, it damaged my core a little bit. <laughs> God. That was dumb. I got a double disable in the Gauss Rife? That's kind of interesting. I didn't even know that's possible? That's actually kind of interesting. That that did, wouldn't even have a double effect. Huh. That's like a free freebie, because uh, if you disable an, uh, an item, it's gonna. If you disable a weapon, yeah, it'll it'll set a disable timer. But if you disable it again, it doesn't extend the timer. It just uh, pretty sure it just um, replaces the timer with a new timer. So yeah, got a freebie there. Anyway, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, <laughs> wanted to do that. <laughs> yeah, pain. Luigi knows all about force ramp pain. All right, can't use that. Let's see, north, it's still dangerous. But we can go this way. There we go, got around the traps, and there's another exit, but that's not the exit I want. Although that exit goes maybe to the caves. Proton missile launcher. Protons are not bad, huh? They're better than they used to be, yeah? Uh, I can't power it, probably. Hmm. <laughs> this shade <laughs> it's always no one will, no, no one will forget that <laughs> okay I did not find a lot of good stuff but I've done enough damage here fine I'll go around alright time to go this way this way being extension I haven't been here in ages Hmm. Okay, I'm not going all the way east. I'm just looking over here real quick. All right, let's see if we can find some friends. Best branch. Yeah, I've played this branch in ages. Huh, this is low. Yes, friend. All right, I should probably. I wonder if I should. Pull off my katana, I'm not really sure yet. Wait, where'd you just go? Uh, you just wait, just biding his time. Okay, sure. Oh, great. Okay, let's get stuck in stasis. Advanced. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It used to go to this branch a lot more, actually. Mainly for because you can really get powered up. Whoa, a completely empty room? That's not very common. Not an extension. Dang. Uh oh. Hey guys, prepare to get attacked. <laughs> Maybe I'll help you. Oh, there's no sentry. I thought there was going to be a sentry around the corner and they were going to attack him. Did not happen. Alright, fine. Free at last, yes. Let's go. Let's everybody get stuck in stasis. I mean, sometimes it's a good thing. If there were enemies nearby, I wouldn't mind. Okay, that guy doesn't count. Wait a minute. That's his terminal, isn't it? Um, I can take that out, yeah? Crap. I don't have enough power to take it out. Crap. <laughs> oh, that was dumb. Not powerful enough for that. Oh, there's a grunt over here. Look at that. No! No! Failure. Alright. We'll have to try to get through. Maybe I can get through with my uh, 
I don't know. I don't have if my hammer's good enough. Hmm. Did you really just one shot my wheel? All right. So, what does this have here? Forty armor. Yeah. I mean, I've got. Uh, wait a minute. Where did that go? Heavy hammer. 36, 60. Oh, yeah, our hammer can make through that. Oh, wait, it has kind of resistance. Does it have 34%? Oh, um, mm, yeah, it can't really. Hammer does the wall, depending on tier. Yeah, it might be. Oh, this is. Oh, I have a regular heavy hammer. It's not great, but it's 56. Yeah, we could make it through the wall eventually. It's going to take a little while. It'd be easier with some momentum, but how much. I can't really get much damage bonus from momentum. Yeah, might as well not bother with the momentum. There we go. Yeah, it still made it just enough. Yeah, one under for the door. Yeah, I noticed there was be I would be like about one under. <laughs> That's just, that means that I have to hit I might have to hit it like 30 40 times to pour a break through. I don't want to spend that much time whacking on that door. But the walls, yeah, usually easier. All right, this is probably going to go All right, I got a bot in uh, You know what? That bot is not going to last. He's, this thing's going to get blown up in a second. Holy crap. <laughs> All right. Oh, no. Don't stand in front of me. I was just aiming. Uh, I, have the, I have an accuracy bonus right now. This guy got in my way. I have a better chance of taking all these guys down than you do, man. <laughs> Great. All right, maybe I have a chance here. Here, I had a better shot earlier. All right, fine. If you guys are going to insist, I'm going to leave. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Heard the Ripper. 36% <laughs> chance instead of the original. All right, can you guys... Oh, shoot. There's still two over there? What the hell? Okay. Good. What else is up here? There's light armor. I should grab that light armor. Actually, there's multiple pieces of light armor from all these sentries. Oh, wait a minute. I'm walking around without my other wheel on. <laughs> Let's see. This guy needs to die. But I'm going to try it with a hammer, I think. He's going to get away. Yep, he still got away. Boar Cannon Ripper Battle Rifle. Hmm. Yeah, Data Jack would be nice. It would make this much faster. Can you guys kill him quickly? Thank you. Can I make allies faster than the enemy can kill them? <laughs> that is the question. Also, our friends are going to kill each other by firing through each other here. Let's see. Uh, Gauss rifle over here. Grab that. That'd be nice. Add that to our collection. Another Gauss rifle. Yeah. And we can use our Trojan to get this door open. Oh, not quite. Okay, fine. All right. Uh, heavy hammer it is. Might take a little while, though. We got lucky last time. Shoot. I don't know if this is going to end up being worth it. My friends are going to get annihilated down there. All right. Well, we got one guy. Free at last. Whoops. Shoot. He's not paying attention to what was in the hallway. Okay, my friends can do the job then. If I fire down there, I'll just kill everybody. He's burning anyway. Yeah, I never bother with doors unless thermal. Yeah. 
or unless you got something really good, but all right, we got everybody. Now the question is, uh, I want to dig. Don't go down there, A7. If you go down there, I'll be very mad. <laughs> I don't have anything to dig with. <laughs> that makes digging harder. Well, I'm not going to dig with a hammer. Digging with a hammer would be a terrible idea. Uh, I don't have any digging thing here. Uh, this wall has 28 armor. I need a cannon. Shoot, I should have brought a digging cannon. <laughs> I really want to dig through here. That's like the best way to get through here. There. Are, oh, there's a boar cannon. A boar cannon is not going to help with that, is there? Boar cannon. Can a boar cannon actually... Mm, it might have trouble getting through the wall part, but it could definitely dig through the earth, I guess. I mean, it's a boar cannon, right? Can you come up here, A7? All right, good. Come on up here. The play is wrap around west and south and east. Yeah, that works too. I mean, then you have to fight the behemoths though. And I, my, the reason for digging that I, the reason I like digging is you don't have to fight the behemoths. It's called a broken. Of course it works. Yeah. The, I'd like to avoid fighting them. I'd prefer it. I mean, that's the main argument for going around. See, I'm gonna drop a heat sink, and I'm gonna pull off uh, this heavy laser, put on a bore cannon, and yeah, it's called a bore cannon. That's why it should be able to make do most of the job. All right. Main question is, well, we do have enough kill power. It's true, but I mean, why do it if you don't? If it's not gonna, if you're not gonna get anything from it. Oh, shit. oh wait. No, first of all, I need to take the wall out because the bore cannon is not very good at taking the wall. Now we can do the bore cannon. And eventually make it through. All right, Borkan is not doing a good job. Oh yeah, sheesh! Finally. Oh, I probably even took some of those out earlier. It's gonna be kind of hard to do this. Yeah, E7, whatever. <laughs> oh no, they're gonna get caught up over there, aren't they? I think they're getting caught up downstairs. All right, it's over. Great. <laughs> they're already getting attacked. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, it's inevitable. All right, yeah, I should have gone west then. Mm, if you can't dig quick, going west is usually a better idea. We're going to get annihilated down here now. West is much better. Need to fight two behemoths at once. Oh, that was a good hit. Come on. Do it. Kill. Kill, 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 kill. Oh my god, this is going to be so bad. <laughs> oh yeah, he chopped that guy apart good. Alright, um, I am going to take your place because you're almost dead. And we are going to swap out this for a Gauss rifle and then open fire. Oh no, wait. I also want to turn on my head. Uh, I don't want to wait another turn. Otherwise, to be honest, I need to pull off the heavy hammer too. But first, let's try to kill this other behemoth. Like that. Yes, thank you. Okay, this eh, would have been so much better to go from the other side. Now we're going to kill this guy. Ah. Oh, chop him up good and ripping off his treads and then dying. <laughs> and you're dead. God. All right, well, okay, it didn't turn out that bad. A7, I guess, is the more important one, and he's uh, in okay shape. <clears throat> All right, so did anything good drop down here? Oh, Corrupted Light Angular Momentum Engine. Wow, that's a long name. Let's see. A lot of treads. I don't need treads. Uh, improved cooling system. All right, we'll take that. Layered medium armor. Okay, that's nice. Get some nicer armor. Basically, basically, the, yeah, the, the two uh, behemoths dropped a few things we can use here. So let's go down there and get those things. All right, Mr. Watcher, you're going to die. Let's see. I want... Uh just this layered from down here, I think. Oh, wait, actually, what gun did he have? Oh, heavy machine gun. Heavy machine gun's actually nice, but I don't want to pick up a corrupted gun. We will just go this way. Grab this layered medium armor. <laughs> I blame leadership. <laughs> Yeah, leadership, uh, hmm. <laughs> C 
could have done a better job there. But uh, I don't know, it turned out pretty well in the end. <laughs> oh, that's right, the other thing I wanted here was the cooling system. Not bad, I don't mind having a cooling system. In fact, that could even free up a slot, probably. I think. Like, we can drop this improved heatsink we've got on, put on a cooling system, and then get rid of, or pull off this advanced heatsink that I'm using. Uh, and put something else in its place. Like, uh, we've got enough armor, but we can throw on something else if we need to. Oh, and I still have hacking suite, too. I get the funny, thing is, the funny thing is I don't need a terrain scanner, really, here. It's not going to be helpful. Hmm. I don't have anything else I need to put on from here. Gonna get armor and see this, yeah. Well, anyway, at least we have a lot of inventory space. No, sometimes we go to see this that don't have the space for that. Oh, you mean to to, to get rid of something? Yeah. Um, wait, what is it? Oh, damage layered medium armor. Nice. That's even better than our, our current one. All right, those beings this drop some nice armor. Anyway, we got a lot of core left too. All right, let's go north then. Freeze some more friends, I guess. I don't really want A7 to get too much more damaged, but... Oh, nice. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> A7 got a little damaged in that encounter. Anyway, overall, we'll be okay. Yep, pretty much. Yeah, what do you get out of fighting the behemoths, armor, and cooling? It's a relatively safe bet. And I did actually, could use some, could, did need some better cooling. Don't really need better armor, but... Uh, technically, I probably didn't even need to come down here. Where's the rest of my friends? Mm, I think I need to change my tactics right now. Uh, I dropped the other one, huh? Okay. Dude, stop sitting in front of me. <laughs> uh, I can't. I'm not going to risk shooting that guy. Oh, nice. That was a good engine hit. Dude, will you stop that? <laughs> I'm going to freaking swap with him. Oh, well, I missed. <laughs> Should have shot a wall direction. Would have been a little better. Can't see us actually coming out ahead of this uh, from this. As long as A7 hasn't changed, probably doesn't matter too much though. All right, he got a little damage. Hmm. Oh wait, this guy's still alive. Okay, now he's not alive. <laughs> Didn't even get a turn, and he's dead. All right, you guys finish off the rest of them. I will uh, check out who's down here. Technically, all you really need is A7, and then you're good to go the rest of the way. Oh shoot, just called some more enemies in. That was just a waste. Calls in more enemies for no reason. Basically, we can maybe hope to cancel them with what's in here, but I can't even get it what's in here very easily. Okay, that's a couple hunters. That's not bad. <laughs> Friend is firing through the wall. Of course... What he does, he's a hunter. No oh, good. Get a new wheel. Oh, I don't have good. Hmm. Unfortunately, I don't have four slots. The thing is, if you go into Cetus, you probably want four slots if you're going to take their propulsion. We have only three slots. <laughs> it's not going to be very helpful. Another advanced heat sink. Okay, replace the one in our inventory. Eighteen armor. Took out his uh, little station there. Double rockets. That's true. I could have double rocketed. Uh, didn't seem necessary. Although rockets are getting kind of weak now. Oh, that was sweet. Yeah. I'm stuck. I can't actually shoot anyone because I'm stuck. 
I am stuck. That's okay, my friends will handle these guys. But, when it comes down to it, yeah, we just traded our other guys for a couple of hunters. Well, not hunters per se. I was actually tempted to attach hackware before attempting that. Light angular momentum. There's more hacking. Another hacking suite. <laughs> All right. All right. Don't see anything you want in that room. How are our friends doing? Not bad. A7 is getting kind of beat up though. The gorillas are in good shape. All right. Almost done. Oh god. Hmm. Actually, disarmed four stasis traps. <laughs> Used my hack on that. But I disarmed the trap I was standing on, which is kind of funny. I could do that from the spot I was in. <laughs> Purge threat direct hack 46. Yes. 36. Yes. 26. No, but that's okay. <laughs> Oh yeah, botnets enabled. Botnets made that possible. Immediately, anyway. Lore percent 96? Oh, there was... what? <laughs> the remote shield? Oh, wait, was there a remote shield? I didn't even notice that. I haven't been paying attention to that. I don't have much energy, but was there a remote shield, really? Oh, there is. Where is that? Oh, up there. You're right. That actually might be pretty good here. Huh. Pass that up. That's actually quite a. That would have been a good, good pick. Uh, I guess I can go back and get it. How many? There's, doesn't look like there's many guys up there. They should be able to take them out. I'll go back and get that while they're messing with these guys. Nope, there's still another enemy in there. Yeah, anyway. I don't know. Maybe I should have cleared that room first. All right. Yeah, remote shield's a good idea. Um. To drop uh, that armor, put on a remote shield. The thing is, it's actually I don't need a remote shield right now because we've already got A7's better shield. I don't even I can't even actually use this shield right now. As I mean, if it's going to be good if A7 dies, but if A7's alive and in range, it's not very helpful. In fact, it does nothing. <laughs> I'll take it off for now. It might come in handy, but I mean, with other guys, I have to kind of remember I got that. But yeah, it's you can only use one shield at a time, and it takes the best shield. So, and more allies. Okay. Oh sh shoot! I forgot to turn my hammer off. That was dumb. Unfortunately, I killed the bad one. <laughs> the really good ones are uh, are safe, right? <laughs> Is there more up here? No, yes. There's still another room. Wow. Alright, so there was nothing on the left side, but there's a lot of rooms on the right side. Uh, I don't need anything from here, though, actually. There's high capacity storage. Another proton. Technically, I did pick up that one, but I don't even have the power to power one. Okay, done with this area. Yeah, I've seen several thermic lasers already with their exclamation marks. Uh, if, now, if I'd picked them all up by now, that might have actually been kind of uh, neat. Lightning gun. Hmm. All right. Uh, the left path leads to the Cetus. Yes. Okay. Um. Let's see. Uh, plasma cannon. Sh High-powered shock rifle. Okay, that's actually not bad either. I'm gonna start corrupting people now. Actually, that might be a bad idea. That's a bad idea in the short term. I don't need the bore cannon anymore. Nah. Grab that. Put on Gauss Rifle. Put on... Hmm, Gatling Laser. And our heat is plus 72. Plasma Cannon Stack. Yeah, I mean, I've got six weapon slots though, so... Alright, definitely have a nice crew here. 
it's still 700 core alert is probably mm, still somewhat reasonable got managed to purge it a bit and uh, time to annihilate some Cetus guard So yeah, we've already got his shield, so I don't need to put ours on, and we're pretty much ready here. Right, the Cetus. Okay, so we got a code. Move one space forward before I can even fire everything. Then, let's aggro some of these guys. Oh, whoops. I still have a lightning gun attached. God damn it. <laughs> I thought I pulled off all my EM, but it's not going to matter anymore because now I'm not even going to get a shot in. <laughs> but I will take that off for now. Oh, an advanced cooling system lost off of, I guess it was A7 there. We have a lot. That was that was an in, that was really fast. <laughs> yeah, see, corrupted prototype treads, of course, and corrupted prototype ballistic gun because I was an idiot and fired my lightning gun once. <laughs> okay, let's see, corrupted ballistic gun. We will take your corrupted ballistic gun. We will have an advanced KE penetrator. And let's take this and drop these. Mm. Centrium heavy treads, prototype protection, Centrium medium armor. Gonna put that away for now. Uh, prototype energy gun. Advanced variable charge gun. All right. All right. What else have we got here that I need? Yeah, we ain't got the other treads. Um, oh, there's another non. There's another non corrupted heavy treads anyway. We will take that, but. <clears throat> that will have to go in the inventory. I guess we're moving pretty slow. To be honest, I really prefer to be on wheels in general right now. All right, time to get rid of some stuff. See more and more s serious inventory clearing. Um, shoot, I keep carrying around this small matter pod, but I have no other matter pod. And if I happen to run out of matter, that would probably save me. Train scanner, I think I need for now. I don't actually think I'm going to want to keep the remote shield. Heavy lasers definitely going first though. Okay, now I can pick up these treads. Uh, what? Oh, there's, I already picked up all the weapons. <laughs> okay, well, mm -hmm. doesn't look like there's uh, anything else there that I want. I don't actually need all the other Centrium treads. Low tier tractor beam does nothing either. Mm, yeah, I probably don't need that. Actually, what is the... Uh, I mean, it could be useful. I have, since I have no other tractor beam option. But what is the range on this one? Uh, that's four. Yeah, probably don't need that one. But I don't actually need the space anymore. Because I'm not picking anything else up. I could grab this armor back again. Just for the hell of it. Wait, actually, wait. How many wheels do I have? All right. Gonna put on the wheel and uh, turn that back on. I'm gonna go back to wheels real quick here. Okay, I have one spare wheel. Basically for the speed. Whoa, shoot, this guy's coming in from the rear now. That was fast. Uh oh 
There's an ARC up there. <laughs> Spaces for stuff from the other four guards. Yeah, maybe. Um, <clears throat> yeah, but that's, uh, that's why I would believe it. But all right, guys, open up. I would imagine I'd still be dropping it, just filling it up because there's adventures to be had a little bit between here and then. The angles for this fight might be good enough that we won't uh, have a negative side effect because it'd be kind of nice to get our little grunt friends up ahead. Friggin' ARC patrol heading through here. And the machine looks to be in one piece. We have 0% corruption. Alright. Machine is loaded. Uh, I do not have any hackware. I said I do have hackware. I could have a lot more hackware. I can't imagine actually uh, use, ending up using that anyway. Very good, useful stuff in there though. Otherwise, what is that, 56? Mm. <clears throat> Gonna go this way for now. Alright, time to take out the other guards. Here comes Enhanced Grunt. I don't even need their help, actually. Penetrating right back and hitting me. <laughs> this is very annoying. I keep getting whacked. But I guess that's what happens in long quarters. Happens to them as well. And they're also almost all dead already. Sheesh. Crazy. That was fast. This was a, a very fast Cetus clear. Okay, so get some better weapons here. Let's drop a lot of this other crap. I've got um, drop Gatling laser. Centrium armor plating, more heavy treads to replace yet more heavy treads. A lot of heavy treads. <laughs> oh, hello. Quantum reactor. Shoot. No, I did. Actually, I probably still want that, right? Isn't that 445 armor? Medium. What else did I have on? <laughs> nice stuff. Yet more medium. Oh, I have too many treads. No wonder. I don't actually want that many. I don't even know how many of those I'd actually end up using. gonna hack anything I'm gonna destroy it to get rid of that that Got a couple corrupted things oh wait a minute shoot I forgot to switch my colors hmm I guess I don't need the katana as well then either that or the heavy hammer but heavy hammers for the damage katana would be for attacking in an emergency but I would probably find something better before I would actually end up or want to use something like that oh shoot wrong with thing what did I pick up there? Deuterium engine. I don't need that. Okay. That's better. Oh, also the quantum reactor. Alright. It's going to be a little heavy, though. Slow down a little bit just from the quantum reactor. <laughs> Another quantum reactor. But, I mean, it's so out of depth, right? Get rid of that deuterium engine. Okay, what else is out here? A lot of centrium heavy treads. Man, if we were a treads build. Oof. 
Not really a treads build though. I'm gonna I'm carrying around these Centrum heavy treads, but I wonder when I'd be using them because I prefer to be moving faster. But maybe we can move a little bit slower if we're gonna be more powerful anyway. Um, in the near term. Whoops. Wait a minute. Oh. All right. Uh oh. Revision. I was hoping actually to keep uh, Revision 17 alive. He might die though. It took a little while up there and by coming back, I heard that shot. How many? Wait. Unless we have a grunt over there fighting. Where's our other grunt? Not that one. The other grunt we made. Is he fighting? Uh, I don't know. I feel like we might have lost him. 240 is fine as long as you blow everything along the way. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Just can result in an uh, easier spiral. Oh, wait. Whoops. Nope. I want to do... Oh, it's not... That's right. It's not an evolution. I'm not going... Uh... I'm gonna head east into the hub. Wait, what? Allies? Two corrupted parts. Yeah, that's okay. I know that. Leave behind two allies. Which two allies? Do we have unpowered? I'm gonna leave them anyway. Have not been here in forever. <laughs> yep, okay, there goes A7. Oh, we're gonna keep going deeper and deeper, just because I haven't been done doing any of this for a while. Boom! Get annihilated! KE penetrator on the ground here. That's actually not bad. Starting to carry some nice stuff they are. Ouch. <laughs> Annihilated. Alright, so you got some heat sinks, advanced heat sink. My heat sink's pretty much fine. Wave guns. Hmm. Alright, just grab some matter. I still don't have another storage pod. Hmm. Just top up on matter and get out of here. I have 1% corruption now. Oops. Good source for hackware for anyone who wants it. <clears throat> Two corrupted parts. Yeah, we'll do that. Managed to lose a friend there. <clears throat> deeper and deeper. So now we're in a place where I probably haven't streamed for many years. Uh, we are always at all, all the way at the end of extension in the hub. I don't normally come all the way out here. I haven't visited Extension in general in a while, but even when I do, I don't really turn, turn back early. This time we're actually in a really good situation. Very powerful. Not high alert. Been pretty much steamrolling everything without causing too much collateral damage. So we're back ready to, uh, yeah, we'll see if we can uh, actually even take out hubs. I don't have any good way to take out hubs, but we'll first have to get the lay of the land. That's actually why I kept my terrain scanner. Um, is... So that we'd have a little easier time here. It's kind of, we're going to, the other, the maps on the way here were not important to know the layout of. This one's especially important. So now we have an improved terrain scanner to help with that. I'm going to take a one minute break here and be right back.
All right. <clears throat> All watered up. Hmm. Got himself a piece of chocolate there. Gonna <clears throat> need some energy to get through uh, extension here. Let's see, turn my cursor back off, and we are ready to blow things up. Namely, hubs. Hmm. Terminal right at the entrance here. EM disruption field. You know what? That actually seems like a prudent thing to grab here. Wow, that's a lot of matter. 193 matter. Uh, I think I should grab this EM disruption field, you know, just in case. No specific reason, right? This seems like a good idea. Heavy armor plating. Two spare. Wait, I have a lot of extra armor and stuff. I have a lot of stuff in general. Oh yeah, also we can switch on our remote shield if we want now. Help our friends here. It's probably a good idea. Instead of one of the armor platings. Um, let's go for remote shield. It could be helpful. Now that we don't have A7 to help protect them. And the other thing we're going to need is... Uh, I need to make space for this. Uh, EM disruption field here. Let me see. Do a general inventory purge. Alright. Not going to use proton missiles. I wanted to hope for a chance to use those, but I don't think it's going to happen. Alright, let's do... Before I regret not doing a Trojan botnet, we're going to do a botnet. Yes! No, I won't regret it. Terminal index. Hmm. Or a zone layout. Hmm. Do a direct terminal index. Ooh, found a lot of them. Oh, wow, that was quite the terminal. That terminal was uh, very helpful. Sheesh. Okay, the other thing we probably want is uh, to put on some... Uh, I'll take off a heatsink for now and throw in our terrain scanner since we're just in explore mode and not uh, kill everything mode. It'll start giving us some useful dots. Which could help identify stuff. Wow. Regular old small tiny terminal. Branch access points, direct hack. Wait a minute. Why don't I need why did I do that? That was dumb. Probably should have thought for like two more seconds before I actually did that. Okay. Um I'm gonna shield my friends while they annihilate this guy. Or my hunter friggin' gorilla dude shoots right through and Great. That was perfect. <laughs> Gorilla shoots through a sentry, kills my friend who's behind the enemy. Then the sentry opens fire on him and kills him. So, yeah, that was pretty useless. Anyway, that's what happens when you have friends who have penetrating weapons. They are really powerful, but they're also... <laughs> they can be very deadly to ourselves. Alright, that was pretty nasty. Our, we took, our Gorilla took out our own dude here. Prototype store. That's, they've got energy wells, huh? Energy cannons and legs and stuff I don't actually need, unfortunately. Hmm. Yeah, there are no branch at this point, exactly. That was, like, dumb. I'm not even used to coming to this map. <laughs> I do not have the right mentality for this map at all. Layered medium armor. Probably don't need that. Yep, that doesn't auto-swap, so I don't need it. Let's see. That's good enough for this room, then. But, yeah, that was a dumb hack. Waste of a good terminal. Wow, two more good... There's tons of good terminals around here. Reinforcements already. Hmm. Too bad I can't really recall anything. Recall reinforcements direct hack 16%. <gasps> I did it. <laughs> I actually just recalled them. Uh, that's actually pretty funny. Unless they get recalled through a different exit and they happen to pass by anyway. But otherwise, they might just leave from the same spot. That was nice. There's a level access point. See, that's what I really want. Level access. Uh, I just like to know where the exit is, right? Uh, shoot. On this map, it could be helpful to know that, even though we'll get it eventually. Anyway, yeah, we overrid that operator's report over here. Not using the terminal. Oh, did I use the terminal in the other room? I thought I, I forgot about that one. I was pen not paying attention to that one. Uh, let's see, shoot. Uh, I don't have that one. Yeah, I must have forgot. It's okay, I had to head back that way in a second anyway. Hmm. Second Trojan might be overkill in this situation, but... I just forgot to use this terminal. 
whoops, oh, alert level. I'm actually curious what my alert level is. Holler manifest, less important. Zone layout, alert level. Aww. One Q, all right, that's good to know, actually. Makes me feel better. Uh-oh, they're getting fired at. Shoot. Hunter squad. You know what? I think I might just let them fight the hunters. They just killed him. There's two, though. They killed one hunter. Did they just... I think they just killed both hunters. Shoot. Blade trap. <sighs> I think they might have just killed both hunters. That's what it sounded like. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's go this way. Yeah, he's back. He just killed two hunters. <laughs> Pretty sweet. No, dude. I knew there was a trap there. See, he didn't know that. Oh, no. He's finding all the traps for us. <laughs> anyway, uh, here's an exit. Okay, we well, found an exit. Bring an idiot getting his stuff chopped off. Whoops. Yep, of course. Haven't found any hubs yet. Well, actually, wait a minute. No, there's... No, that's not a piece of hub. Uh, more terrain scanners. A prototype ballistic gun. Hmm. Curious. Do I have anything that I absolutely have to keep? Not really. Take that. Precision assault rifle. Okay, that's kind of nice. Sure. I can replace one of the uh, Gauss rifles with that. Put that back on. Programmers. That's a garrison piece? Yeah, I was looking at that piece down there. You're right. It's probably a garrison piece. Which means it shouldn't go down there. Heavy laser. Oh, whoops. Yeah, I didn't even realize I still had a heavy laser. Gauss rifle. Um, yeah. I'll put the Gauss rifle on. I want a Gauss, Gauss rifle instead anyway. Uh, just because our heat, we have armor and only one cooling system right now. So if we fight against grunts, we'd overheat fairly easily. So, yeah, didn't really, I'm not really paying attention to my weapon list <laughs> very closely. Also, I've still got a heavy hammer, but let's see, I'll put on a penetrator instead. Threw that on to get through a wall easily. So, yeah, still haven't found a hub. There's probably going to be one down here. Probably. Yeah, swapped with my friend so that he'd take the first shot, even though I'm not sure that was a great idea, but then I'll allow this guy to get in front, because uh, uh, the other guy already aggroed him, so it pulled, the, uh, pulled him in closer. <gasps> Armored, huge, wheels, you know, I like these better than Sentry and Heavy tries right now. <laughs> it seems weird. All right. uh, this is a dangerous place to go, though, because it's the middle of the map, but whatever. Let's see, let's drop this other wheel. Drop the heat sink and grab another wheel. Armored huge wheel. It's gonna come a time soon where I probably should put on the treads though. I mean, actually I'm moving at 135. Now it's, it's a pretty big difference. I'd waste an extra turn every move. Probably all an east side layout. Behemoth shooting you, what, what? What were you referring to with that comment? Uh, I don't know if I want to fire at this guy. I have too many weapons. Well, I could fire fewer weapons. That's a novel idea. <laughs> I could fire my precision assault rifle and the variable charge gun. In that order. Oh, shoot. That's the behemoth. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Huh. Yeah, I didn't notice that guy. Yeah. Dangerous to be here, center of the map. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because also because behemoth. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, I didn't actually notice that behemoth shot, and now it is noticed. <laughs> huh. Not only that, it's a behemoth sitting right next to a garrison. Oh my god. Oh man, this is actually pretty bad. A garrison and a behemoth right in the middle of this map. This is actually a really bad idea to face off against that guy. But you know, my friends, they're gonna be all for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, situation hopeless time to sterilize. I don't think you're in a good situation to sterilize. <laughs> Actually, it's probably hard to sterilize this map, huh? I don't know. Um, hmm. Uh, 
Yeah, it's low, definitely low alert, 1Q. It's a very, very low alert. Don't have to worry about that. I'm not worried about that. It's mainly for, <laughs> for the next uh, Mainly just thinking about, do I want to kill the behemoth? Uh, honestly, if there was no garrison there, I probably would go in there and just kill the behemoth. We have enough firepower. With this firepower combined with our allies, he's going to die really fast. The problem is there's a garrison right next to it, which kind of messes things up. Don't want to fight a garrison. Not only that, but it's the middle of the map, which means any time there could be just random patrols passing through here. In other words, there could be a lot of bots here suddenly. That would change a lot. Mm. But it's either that or retreat and lose all my friends to the behemoth. They're not going to be able to take the behemoth alone next to a garrison. Mm. I gotta retreat. Maybe. I might retreat a little bit and then see. Overload of VC cracks the garrison. I don't want to destroy a garrison, though. I'd want to shut it down. I'm going to let them have fun down there. They're going to die pretty quickly. Uh, I could have destroyed the behemoth. But yeah, I could destroy the garrison, but I don't really want to. That, that causes yet more problems. Reinforcements to a terminal. Anyway. Alright. Wow, this whole top left side of the map is empty. Dang. Okay. Crap. Got to assault anyway. Was that a friggin... Oh, the blade trap over there? <sighs> oh, yeah. That's an idea. Right. Love bringing in enhanced grunts. Pop them in front of the hubs for alert-free hubs. That's pretty cool. I like that idea. All right. Now we already have an assault coming. Drones are good. Yeah, the drone idea for sure. Let's see, what do we got damage-wise? Let's turn these off, turn that on. Blow through this wall. Oh god, I think I just destroyed the terminal. <laughs> I used a dumb weapon for that. That was dumb. Should have just used the advanced variable charge gun. Why did I not realize that I had an advanced variable charge gun and used that? Screw it. Fine. There's an exit. I haven't found a single hub yet. Sheesh. Also, there's an assault on the way. Improved hacking suite. Exit over there. Where the hell are the hubs? They're all over here. Down here. They're all piled into half the map. Hmm. Yeah, it's... Wait, audio range of a hub? That's the backup mainframe. That's Was there a hub up here? Oh yeah, there it is. It's around the corner. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, in the hallway. Yeah, I can see it up there. <laughs> eh, okay. Um, assault on the way. Let me think. At least I'm far away from the behemoth and the garrison. That's what I was more worried about. I was messing with all that at the same time. Alright, I have a new plan here. Oh god. <laughs> hmm. Well, they got here sooner than I wanted. <laughs> Okay, Mr. Imp. Prepare to die. Time to sterilize my little corner here. Oh, come on. Seriously? <laughs> Dude stepped right in front of me. Uh, I'm getting a little hot here. I don't need a remote shield anymore. Uh, it's also going to drain all my energy anyway. Alright, well, you need to cool off. Perfect. Okay. Uh, I should be able to unseach now. That sentry, where did he go? I think I guess he came around the corner too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> timing the comments today. I was my plan was literally to walk out here and I was gonna step right here. And I, the thing is I knew there was a, a sentry coming from the south. And so I said, okay, fine. There's an assault and a sentry coming. I'll take up the sentry. I was gonna stop right here. I mean, my plan was to stop here and do the tread thing and wait for them. But the thing is, I didn't have to wait very long because they were literally already in the corridor. <laughs> um, yeah, I think, the, isn't the other sentry down here probably trying to loop? That's what I thought. Unless, But there was a sentry I just killed up here too, didn't he? Oh, no, wait, he turned around and went back. That's right, I shot this guy because I wanted to kill the, the closer. I wanted to kill the 
the brawler first. I don't want the brawler to get through to me. So I killed the brawler, aimed for him, and I guess the sentry, I didn't manage to kill him, kill him and he turned around. So anyway, we'll still have to fight him, but I'm gonna unsiege for now. And, uh... See if there's anything lying around that I want to keep. Matter. We do need to grab that pile of matter. Hmm. Tractor beam would be useful right about now. <laughs> it would save me... A lot of turns. <laughs> hmm. Two forty movement speed. with that. Oh, shoot. Draw my treads there. I mean, I dropped them on purpose, but I didn't realize they'd be over there. Alright, so anyway, we found a hub. Now, do I have any way to take out a hub without too many problems? <laughs> I don't have any special gear, no traps. I don't have any kind of special way to take out a hub. All I have to do is Locate hubs and then come up with a strategy for taking them out. That one force hack? Eh, that's true. Uh, sort of. I mean, it could work. Uh, randomly. <laughs> um, it's not alert free, but it's less alert. Yeah. I don't really mind a ton the alert from the hubs. I'm mainly just worried about getting out alive. There is a terminal right there. That is true. But the, what I want to do is get to an exit. I need to have the strategy to get to an exit, right? Let's see. Uh, let's use the proper weapon this time. No, no, no. Yes. Okay, there we go. You'll get through eventually. Oh, okay. Well. Actually, this sentry could take out the hub for us. But again, I don't really want to mess up. I don't want it to happen when I until I want it to happen. That's the thing. It's nice being able to take them out when you want. All right, that terminal's gonna stay there for now. Prog to take it out. Yeah, other other bots basically. More air is another one figured. They're all over here. Uh hypervelocity Gauss. Hmm, that can be useful for taking out hubs, huh? Superior range fires through walls. I mean, it depends on your positioning, but. Uh, that can actually be pretty good to position if you can manage to find the right position for that. A lot of hubs, a lot of hubs, all hanging out here. Yeah, prog red on cue. Here they come. <laughs> I can imagine getting super corrupted because of it, though. All right, what's to the south here? Looks like there's another room. Can we open this wall? Maybe friggin' variable charge. God damn it, it's not. Uh, inherent damage to pop up? Well, no, I, yeah, it doesn't. It wouldn't have damage. I meant for basically the the stability. It's it's only these things are very unstable. Twenty five percent. Basically, you tap them and they're gonna go eventually. Twenty five percent is really low. It's so yeah. Uh, these are really good for tapping uh, these things through the walls. Uh, I don't know if I can actually pick it up though. Um, I have to drop something for my inventory if I was gonna pick it up. I might. It might come in handy later though. I mean, also it's just pretty good. I mean, yeah, it's not bad. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, a lot of other cool stuff here. Could just replace one of our Gauss rifles with it. I mean, it's a destroy, which is a really high destroy, which is pretty cool. Main problem just comes if it penetrates when you don't want it to, but hey, I managed to do that often enough anyway. I also have a penetrator. Hmm. Shoot. Penetrator is getting really messed up. I guess I'll let that one die. I'm gonna get rid of a Gauss rifle and take this. Hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How do these things even work? That is for the imagination to figure out. <laughs> They're very cool, okay? 
All right, it looks like the wall is pretty far down here. This is a far dig, unfortunately. That's the whole uh, five space dig over here. Shoot. So we'd have to go back to the center and then down. And I don't see. Honestly, maybe we could just take these two hubs and leave. But uh, to do that, it might be more sense to map a little bit more of this southern area. Uh oh, a door open to the south. There might be a programmer coming. Oh no, there's a heavy down there. That's actually not good. All right, heavy, and an exit over there. Network hub. Oh, heavy gambling, <laughs> face tank against Graham. Uh, yeah, uh, that's what I was thinking about. I'm wondering about mainly where the, when the programmers are going to show up, actually. But then and then take uh, these two hubs, and there's an exit here. Basically, it shouldn't be too bad, actually. Gaming, not gambling. <laughs> the magic of vacuum tubes. <laughs> um, I wonder if there's anything I would actually want to use this terminal for. I could use it to... Oh, hello there. Um, <laughs> nice of you to pop through that door. Where does that lead? Does that lead to the north? No, it probably goes south, huh? Left hub first makes lightning was less likely to come out of the exit. Really? I don't know how that is, but... Hmm. Yeah, we'll see. Hmm. Honestly, you could make a hole in the wall. You could make a hole in this, uh, just... In this wall here. You could, you could stand up here and take both of these out. Or, like, take one out and then pretty quickly take the other one out by just making holes in the wall real quick. And they'd both be down really fast. Being able to stand between them is uh, rather helpful. Uh, I wish I had a seismic sensor, though. Anything that would be an enable that would be the easiest way to detect the lightnings, which uh, so that I could avoid them. <laughs> hmm. Seems like it'd be pretty tough. I know, yeah, the, the seismic would really help here. I don't have any other in info war except this terrain scanner, which is not doing gonna do me any more good now. I don't think. I still have the EM disruption though, which is at least gonna be some help. Overall, though, I mean, it, it's not gonna be too bad. First, you gotta get rid of this guy and where his friend. He's probably got a couple of them. Yeah. Pretty low though. How many of these guys will there even be? One even? That would be crazy. We are really low, yeah. One of these, dang. Sweet. Well, you're toasted. Alright, that's that's where that leads. It goes straight west. Alright, let's uh go north and take out both of these hubs. It's gonna be exciting. Uh I should probably find out. What do I want to do with this? This, this is... Let me see. Mm, could get a more zone layout info. Could try to drop the alerts. Here, level 2 though, so probably wouldn't succeed at that. Uh, I'll just get some zone layout info there. I can't imagine needing anything else here. Alpha Centauri system. I don't actually have that record. <laughs> I don't have the record for hub, which is where we are now. It's kind of funny. <clears throat> Hey, Guriotoro. Ah, like the ambient sound? Thank you. Yeah, this put a lot of work into that. There's still, uh, still more coming, too. I mean, the, re the game the, that's... The, the existing parts of the game already have the complete uh, soundscape. But, you know, I gotta add new maps, which means, yes, yet more soundscape to stick in there. Now that all the maps have it. New maps need that as well. They, you know, I waited for a long time to do that because it's something you'd... I preferred to do all at once. So that happened. But, yeah. Um, <clears throat> a lot of new sound effects coming in the next release, of course, just because of the fact there's a lot of new content, not both ambient and otherwise. Just a lot, all, the new, all these new items and stuff. So I have to do intermittently a fair amount of sound work. I can't actually think of anything else I want from this one. Um, that's gonna help. Right, but the zone layout's somewhat helpful, or could be, uh, for seeing more of what's below. We don't need the train scanner anymore. I guess I'll throw on some extra armor instead of that. Puts us at 175 movement. For sabotage? <clears throat> uh, 
But would that actually get us anything? Oh, sabotage, yeah. Uh, for a third direction something? I was hoping to set up something better here. We could. Well, and it's going to draw more boss to this area, so oh, no. Specifically for that reason. We've already got a uh, set up here, so I'm going to switch, stick to this here. Let's do... I'm going to start from this spot right here. I'm going to take this charge gun and blow a hole in this wall. <clears throat> then we're going to take a, a blow a hole in this wall. If you pin through the wall, that's true. That's true. I should. I guess I didn't need to take that one down. Uh, shoot. All right, I should still be able to get over here. I'm far enough away from this explosion, it doesn't matter. Eh, this engineer is going to help us out, right? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> yeah. I mainly wanted to get rid of the other side. Now I just need to get rid of. Shoot. Now I need to get rid of this guy, but he's going to call reinforcements on me. <laughs> Let me think. How long does it... What's the hell... Alright, is there a timer on this? Delay is two to eight turns. <clears throat> I was wondering if I could shoot this one first. Maybe. Eh, it's not going to be worth it. Yeah, it's two to eight. Hmm. Don't forget EM resist. Yeah, I should put that on first, shouldn't I? Uh, in fact, probably needs to be on instead of this piece of armor. So... Let me think right here. It's probably not going to matter. Uh, now this, this engineer is going to be annoying, but eh, he's he's not going to matter too much in the end. Let's take um, take our charge gun off here real quick and swap in the oh it's already on me. Whoops, <laughs> I was like, where'd my hyper velocity go? It's sitting on me right now. Okay, now engineer, get out of the way because I want to shoot in that direction. Oh, that's the thing. I won't know when this... The part of the problem is I don't know when this is going to explode. It could explode at any time. 25% though. Alright, so if you guess though, this thing is 100% penetration, which means it did go through. And th the fact that it did go through means it definitely hit the hub. And there's a 75% chance the hub is preparing to explode already. So if we do it again, it's pretty much 100%. Uh, we're not trying to do enough damage live oil. We're trying to just uh, destabilize it. I can let him just go. He just didn't fix his one wall. That's true. All right. <clears throat> he's gonna. The, there's gonna. Fi he's gonna go fix the wall on the other side too, though. Anyway, the the technically this hub to the left of this should explode within the next few turns, I think. Oh, the other one exploded first. Okay, they both exploded. <laughs> Pretty much simultaneously. <clears throat> okay, there's some alerts. <laughs> I really wish I... This would be so much easier if I had seismic, though. <laughs> oh, so I lost my power source. <laughs> oh, a chain reaction triggered my quantum reactor. It's a really good thing I have another one. Okay, and why do I have one of my wheels inactive? That was dumb. All right. Double whammy set off the other. Yeah, it looked like the one on the right actually set off the one on the left going through there. Or they went out, it, and it must have, because it was the same turn, right? Hmm, anyway, okay. Sadly, I do not know where they're coming from, but we should be in good shape, honestly, if I just head straight to the exit. Friggin' grunt. Nice job, Grunt. EM dis Disrupt stays on for lightnings. Yeah, that's why I still got it on. That was actually the main reason I was thinking of it. I was thinking of it for the lightnings, not for the uh, the hubs themselves. Now the real fun. Uh, it should be okay, I think. I'm keeping huge wheel for now just for the speed. To be honest, I want to just get out of here. I mean, we get to the exit pretty easily. It's right there. Main thing is... um. If I had to, though, if they start shooting at me, we'll probably want to put on the treads instead. And just tank. This grunt's going to attack. So far, so good. Alright, that sentry might alert people. Overall, we're doing pretty good, though. Should be nice. 
there's slayers. Only just regular stuff. Haven't seen anything yet. Taking a fair bit of damage to my guns, but they have gun armor. All right, now I just have to get through the wall here, which honestly I'm just gonna friggin' overload and blast right through this wall. Just to make sure. Because <laughs> this variable charge gun is not doing a very good, reliable job of blasting through. Oh, look at that, it's a lightning. <laughs> How surprising. Well, no need to switch now. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, as much as I'd like to attach my corrupted weapons before leaving, that was no longer an option. Anyway, um, that wasn't too bad. I guess the question now is, is it worth taking a fourth propulsion slot? Uh, specifically because then it's easier to use treads. Otherwise, if I stick with mainly just treads for reserve and still wheeling around, three is actually an okay. Definitely one in for lovely, lovely treads. Yeah, it's it's tempting, certainly, especially in the sound now that I have good treads and you get to kill stuff, so... Mm, I just kind of like the idea of minimizing propulsion to maximize firepower and everything else. You need seven weapons? <laughs> My boy says I need seven weapons. Maybe we need seven weapons. Uh, six is... Six is overkill. Seven... Seven is unstoppable, right? <laughs> hey, Prozok! Prozac says, man, I wish I actually knew how to play this game. I have 41 hours and still have no idea what to do. That is not unusual, Prozac, I must uh, admit. Um, one thing I can suggest is checking out the Discord, which is where, where most of the better players hang out. And uh, everyone's really happy to give advice. And if you just drop some screenshots occasionally or any questions, and you get better faster. But um, yeah, it uh, can take a little while to get into it. But... Once you start figuring it out and getting some wins in, <clears throat> the possibilities open up. But yeah, chat's hooking you up there with some advice. Hey, introvert. Yeah, I have not... Uh, my, my voice changed. Oh, you did... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess it was uh, a few weeks before I stopped streaming. Not including the last time I streamed randomly from Beta 13X1 released. Uh, I did switch to a new uh, 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 microphone. Yeah, so... Yep, that was, did that for just the last few of my streams only. So going forward, yes, new microphone. Much better. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely. Lots of free advice on the Discord. Um, free helpful advice that will uh, definitely get you a lot farther, farther. And, you know, just learning other extra tips and things. It's pretty overall pretty... Uh, there's just a lot. <laughs> um, it's uh, rather complex. So uh, it can be fun to just drop in and fool around. But if you really want to excel, there's uh, quite a lot to uh, to take in. And it can be pretty hard, you know. And some, some people are really good at it, doing it mostly alone and just figuring everything out. But, you know, some people uh, do a lot better uh, when people, others are pointing out some of it other possibilities and just stuff that you might not have noticed because it's, it's just so dense a lot of information a lot of things happening it can be hard to uh, notice everything so i guess yeah all right i was told seven weapons so we'll do seven weapons make it to a purple zone think so yeah and purple's pretty decent yeah purple's pretty far research in the upper levels uh we are currently here we just did an ex a run all the way to the extend uh, the end of the extension branch, which is something I normally do not do. But it's quite helpful in terms of uh, being allow us to hack, allowing us to hack. In fact, now if I use just like one piece of hackware, we can get a lot more hacking done. Um, as long as we're going for more basic stuff, uh, just one piece of offensive hackware. But we didn't hit any caves yet, and our alert is probably fairly low. Um, we did get one assault sent after us, but that's. Yeah, overall, that's pretty decent considering we've been destroying and destroying and destroying constantly throughout this entire run. I mean, what else are you going to do when you have seven weapons, right? Okay, so we now have enough slots to put in to go full treads. But, I mean, why do I want to go full treads unless I'm going to do a lot of fighting? So I still don't need to, really? <laughs> Uh, in fact, I kind of want to even leave my armored huge wheel on and just put on another one other regular wheel. We're a little slow right now, but one more wheel. Mm, 
one more wheel would be nice. Let's go west real quick, because there's no enemies here, having just entered heavy plasma cannon. I'm not going to bother checking the rest of that room. Oh, great, an informer. Yes, okay, DSF lockdown. Well, I wasn't going to do that anyway. I should probably kill this guy. Hmm. Overkill much? Yeah, okay, you're dead. Let's see. Yeah, visual processing unit. Oh, I didn't even put on the gun yet. More guns. <laughs> I don't need to. Uh, I need to take off some of this stuff. Don't need a disruption field anymore. I guess we could throw on this armor. Or you know what? Actually, train scanners is what we're supposed to have right now. Oh, I'll grab a wheel. This guy has a wheel. Give me your wheels. Let's, let's use a couple of Gatling lasers to annihilate this guy. He didn't give me his wheels. All right, I got away from this guy. Thank you. Wheel acquired. <laughs> yes, I agree, Lyra. I thought that same thing. If the watchers survived after I said that, it would have been pretty funny. I literally just fired six weapons at it. Come on. <laughs> if it survives that, oh my god. And I still have no better spare matter. Oh, look at the medium storage. Now, does anybody here have matter storage? I need to actually seek out matter storage. High power tractor beam. I kind of want that too, huh? No, because seriously, I have... <laughs> I've been carrying around this small matter storage just for an emergency. Fortunately, I haven't run out of matter yet, um, which has been pretty good. Overall, things are going pretty well. Watchers have a tendency to survive that. Mm, it's true. I don't know. I mean, yeah, it, it, it definitely is within the realm of possibility. Here's another watcher. We can test the theory. Here he is. He's further away, though. Look at that. Look at that weapon stack. Giant weapon stack versus watcher in the distance. He's going to survive. Okay, maybe you didn't. <laughs> How long does this volley take? It takes me five turns to fire this many weapons. You know what I need? I need a cycler. And then I'm definitely going to have resource issues. But to be honest, firing this many weapons is a big drain. <laughs> but if they're all guns, and it's at, at this point, it's becoming worthwhile to fight multiple enemies in the open. Like, I'm not even afraid to do that without a launcher. Oh, come on. Seriously? All right, you know what? I bet that explodes in the next room, isn't it? Oh, oh, that's right. I have also, I have this hypervelocity gauss too. Damn it. Okay, cool. Um, okay, let's see. Wait a minute, this wasn't his terminal? What? We've got six local trap locations. This wasn't his terminal? Where the hell's his terminal? Hmm. Anyway, all right. I know it's a nice terminal. I'm gonna go straight for the botnet. Seventy-five percent. Our alert is definitely low. I don't use his own layout. What do I actually want here? Maybe we can take a branch exit. Uh, let's go for branches. All right. We found the upper caves. Where are we? Negative five. So it could be either of the upper caves possibilities. Might be nice to visit a cave. Now we know where they are. Do a quick zone layout. Got the zone layout. I know you can't see that because I got my screen set tall. Uh, I already did. Let's see. We already know where the traps are, so I don't need to bother that. Let's go for some regular prototype. Oh, I needed two botnets to get that, huh? All right. I got a plasma sword ID. Mm hmm. Sure. Hmm. I'm getting a lot of stuff at this terminal. Can't actually think of anything else I need. Oh man, check out how slow that's going up. This is amazing. Oh, hubs. My hubs. All right, let's see. Oh my god, these cave exits are really far away. <laughs> I love it. Okay, looks like we're supposed to head west then. <laughs> Prozac, rip your free time. Yeah, it's uh, Cogmine shares, Discord, uh, shares its Discord with all the other... Just the general roguelike community, so there's a lot of other roguelikes. <laughs> you know, you don't have to pay attention to the other channels if you don't want to, though. But a lot of us, you know, the Cogmind players, too, will, you know, go off and be playing, enjoy other roguelikes together. That's why I stream a lot of others, too, that are also on the on the server as well. And you'll find me playing some of those others, along with the general Cogmind community, especially when there ha if, if and when there hasn't been a Cogmind r release for a while. But, yeah, welcome. Uh, I recall it cuts off seven and below. No, it's all—it's not changed. It's the exact same. 
Lyra. Uh, the slots have always been, it always cuts the bottom uh, six lines off of my UI. I did make Cogmind. Armored medium treads. That That is me. I just haven't streamed for a while. I used to stream it more often, as you can check on my uh, YouTube account. But I just got back today um, to streaming. I'd rather see the bottom and get the black bars on the sides. Uh, yeah, but then it's smaller. I mean, it doesn't affect much anyway. It literally is only the bottom few slots of the inventory. Uh, the map won't matter so much. No, label I guess means black bars on the sides because if I shrink the shrink the the size, it would act, the whole window would be smaller, basically in, in term, including the width. I could switch in other words to five, font size uh, eighteen, which is what most people use. I'm using font size twenty. Uh, yeah, like uh, for example, if I just do this, see now you can see it. And this is font size uh, eighteen. I mean, yeah, I was using twenty. This is eighteen. This is the font size that most people use. Uh, at least I think it is. What's this one? Yeah, this is 18. Right, now you can see everything else in my Steam window. <laughs> Zeeds, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, well, I'm glad you like it, Prozac. Thanks. I'm, uh, yeah, if you're, uh, you know, if the premise is like a dream and you're really, you know, you're having trouble getting into it or want to get more into it, te de definitely the uh, Discord is the place to be. Uh, a lot of good folks there. And I hang out there, too, every day. So, And we have hid hidden Cogmine channels, too, where oh, even more of the discussion takes place, but, you know, with spoilers, once you're ready for that level of... Uh, discussion and or if you don't care about spoilers and you just want to see all the Cogmine discussion there's a lot more going on there than you might see at first um yeah so let's find another matter pod and all right what was i doing <laughs> oh yeah that's right we were gonna head way over here we're gonna go to the upper caves let's gonna we're gonna head west uh, let's just go straight through here it'd be, probably be safer to go through the north quarter but security rotation that's fine Maybe we could take out a heavy. Right, wait, doesn't this guy have a better... No, he's a small matter pod. Nobody carries... Nobody reg, none of the regular bots carry around a bigger matter pod. Huh? Alright. I'm going to follow the edge of the map to go west. Prototype device. I'm curious what this is. It is a gravity neutralizer, which uh, doesn't actually help us at all. I wonder why. <laughs> Let's put our terrain scanner back on. Uh, oh, surfs have a chance for medium. Ah, okay. Yeah, I'd forgotten about that. Um, forgot they can also carry mediums now. That was, I don't think it was originally the case. Prototype energy. Okay, well, it's a gun, so we gotta check it out, right? A cooled plasma rifle. Okay, that was worth it. Alright. Let's see, do I actually need anything here? Ah, oh, you know what I could do? I do. I actually do want something here. Whoops. Let's type this right. Let's do a uh, high capacity matter pod. Yes. Um, a matter compressor. 16%. Okay, never mind. That's fine. If we find a fabricator, maybe we could build one. Because it kind of like a larger matter storage. Normally I would grab one at the beginning of the game, but I had no idea what I was doing at the beginning. Didn't have a plan plan became lots and lots and lots of guns. Heavy mace. Huh. Actually, a heavy mace would be a good replacement for a hammer, wouldn't it? Barely. Okay. Slight replacement. Hmm. There's also a terminal in there. Yeah. Not really worth it. Advanced shield generator. Hmm. That's probably better than our remote shield. But I have to... Let me see. I'm gonna get rid of this KU penetrator, actually. I'm still gonna drop the remote shield, though. Where did that thing go? I still have it, right? Yeah. I'm gonna just drop it. Dropped out right. Salvage targeting, if only we have slots for it. Oh, um, oh, was there salvage targeting? I'm not, not big on salvage targeting, but to be, you're right, advanced even. A lot of people swear by it, and you know what? It's probably better than I, I'm sure it's better than I give credit for, because a lot of good players really like to use salvage targeting. 
But yes, I have tons of weapons and very few utility slots. Hmm. Heavy maze. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'll like it if I go for it. Ignore them? I ignore them. <laughs> Layboy says I ignore them. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> had no idea. Yeah, they have variable. Lo They're one of the very, very few robots that have very variable loadouts. The uh, very few main complex robots that do. There's uh, only a uh, small handful. The rest are pretty static. Yeah. Okay, okay, grab that. Still wheeling around because armored huge wheels are awesome. That was a nice stash find. In fact, if I hadn't found the army huge wheels, we might have ended up, I don't know, probably using treads sooner. But, I don't know, I'm liking the speed. I don't like rolling around that slow. Or running, treading around so slow. Improved recalibrator and utility shield. As I was mentioning earlier in the stream, these are going to have a different, these are going to have more features in the next release. By the way. <laughs> Util shielding, hard to justify when this weapon heavy. Yeah, with the uh, utility slots and uh, uh, premium right now, too. Need a weapon cycler. Yes, uh, that's another schematic I probably should have picked up. I've passed several weapon cyclers on the way, but that is a big need right now. Literally, weapon cycler would be a huge buff. We're 1P right now, and I just purged again. Let's check it again. <laughs> This is so funny. Wow, that's awesome. I love these network defenses being down. Man, taking out hubs is cool. All right, oh yes, long range missiles. Okay, we'll take those. Um, point defense system, all right. I'll leave that there and then regret it later. How far are we in the game right now? Yeah, halfway through, uh, vertically. I mean, yeah. We haven't actually explored a lot though. We're halfway through, but I skipped all, all the branches except for this one. So, in terms of depth, halfway, we're still a couple floors away from the purple floor research that we were, you were talking about earlier. Killing Braun would have done wonders for this build. <laughs> Man, bunch of murderers. Okay, so yeah. Oh no! Back, back! <laughs> Bedroom. <laughs> Shoot. Alright, let's try and go around this room. All right, there's a repair station. I wonder if I should repair my armor. Uh, let's see, medium treads and a thermal shield, stasis canceler. Mm -hmm. 26, security level three. No, that's not happening, Never mind. <laughs> that's, that's a little big. Cool thing about them is they're faster, but they're also harder to use unless you got hackware. I dropped all my hackware. Can't imagine anyone thought I was actually going to use it, huh? Heavy shock bombs, those are kind of fun. Heavy insulated, wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. Heavy insulated plating. Wait a minute, heavy insulated. Right now I've got a heavy armor plating, which is raw 300. How much do these guys have? These guys are also raw 300. Hmm. Well, I guess I can replace that then. Long range tractor beam. Yeah. No required pickup. I had a high-powered one in my inventory already, but, uh, yep, that's an immediate swap, even though I don't really need it right now. I have not had a matter of problems at all yet, despite all these weapons. It's a current, but we're half thermal, half kinetic. Improved cooling system. That was a nice find, too, the improved cooling system. Well, not find. That was, a that was, uh, spoils of war after taking out a behemoth and extension. That was good. Okay, so fabric. Oh, never mind. Damn it! Come on. Uh, let's see. Uh, 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 let's. Uh, we could still try to build this. Yes. No. Almost. Oh, check it out! I'm gonna get one. Oh no, there is use of fabrication network. I love that mechanic. <laughs> oh yeah, check them out. There's a whole bunch of them here. Okay, let me see. Let's, uh... Wait a minute. High capacity. There we go. Let's suck the matter out of the small one. Suck that matter... Oh, it didn't actually go into the other one because I was low on matter. <laughs> Alright, we're getting closer. 
All right, is there anything else I actually need? Ah, weapon cycler. That's right, I need a weapon cycler. Let's go get those. Find if we, out if we can get a weapon cycler. Actually, let's kill this guy. You know what? I need matter. Um. This might be not a great room to be firing a bunch of weapons in. Uh, oh, he's carrying around my heavy armor, huh? Nice find, dude. Also, my tractor beam. One of these machines is scary. It's true, the potent, the trap potential. It would be funny if I intentionally put more traps in those, huh? The traps are completely random, though. But imagine if, like, half of the arrays like that were trapped. <laughs> Full clearing is something you have a hard time not doing? Oh man, well, Cogmind is not suited for full clearing. <laughs> yeah, definitely the start of a failure circle, yeah, if you try to full clear that way. You can you can full clear, it's doable, but it's, it's very hard to set up. And uh, yeah, you gotta use specific strategies. And also be pretty good, um, I think. All right, let's get this. Um, and doing it repeatedly is obviously even harder. So that's like an kind of an extreme challenge that some people go for is design ways to be able to repeatedly full clear. But yeah, that's true. As Plexion's saying, full clearing is when you piss off the complex so hard it clears itself. That's really what we mean by full clearing now because you can't really full clear. You can't otherwise kill everything, which has come forever. So let's see. Uh, I was going to get, uh, yes, I was going to get a weapon cycler. I will first start with a basic weapon cycler. It's only 20%, which means, yeah, it's probably the best I'm going to get. Damn. I still like. That's pretty cool. I like that. that I, I give like free hackware. Mmm, free hackware. So good. So complimentary to my low utility build. Another advanced salvage targeting. All right, we should be able to get through the room to the south here. Oh, no, I don't want to overload that. Oh, hello there, Mr. Sentry. Uh, more heavy treads. Now time to swap out a wheel? Uh, Not really. <laughs> it's true, there's more heavy treads. That's true. Those could become a main, and then you could back up with the Sentry room heavy. Um... But to be honest, I like rolling around fast. I mean, otherwise I'd be moving at 175, and I could use the treads as backup. Lose half a turn per move. Half a turn extra. Hmm. I'm kind of attached to wheels. <laughs> Heavy treads are a pretty good find, though, to be able to just find randomly around now. Oh, swap out of wheels and... Oh, you mean swap out my beat-up wheels for the huge armored huge wheel? Oh, I was really thinking of just swapping up, swapping the armored huge wheel for the other armored huge wheel. <laughs> Basically, always have one combined with regular wheels. Just to stretch them out longer. Hmm. Alright, so there's a bad dude coming there. We are not too far away from that. The caves there. Yeah, it's kind of the direction I was going with it. Didn't really want to switch away. I just like having the extra speed. I feel... Uh, like it gives me more leeway for my style. All right, what was going on here? There's a sentry coming. I guess I could wait for. Oh, that's right. There was another. There was a programmer outside. That's the whole reason I came in here. We need spare when you have siege. That's true. Then you have to siege though. But it's true. Like right now would be a perfect time to siege, and take minimal damage. But we have so much firepower. How many of the guns do I have actually? Okay, I got a lot of guns. Problem is going in caves. I'm still not gonna be able to clear the corruption from these advanced cave penetrators. We still got our good guns. Oh, this room sucks. <laughs> oh, wow. Dang. Who needs siege when you let Jens kill everything for you? <laughs> Overpilled. Alright. This guy's gonna die. Yeah, see? Who needs who needs siege or drones when you've got seven weapons? And you're just waiting for your target to wander through the door. All right, I'm going to step out of that room before I get chopped to pieces. Okay. And what was in this room? Nothing I need. Okay. That programmer is where now? Who knows? Okay. Well, there's a slayer right outside the door. Hmm. Uh... 
I'm actually, I think, uh, I kind of want to that terminal intact, but at the same time, I also would like to take advantage of this opportunity to annihilate this hunter who's standing right outside the door. Or my impromptu door. Oh, shoot. <laughs> of course there's two of them. Why would I move? <laughs> Should have just waited for the other one. Although, actually, waiting would probably wouldn't have helped. Oh, well, there goes the terminal. What? Really? Plexion says seven weapons on negative five or ever. It's so damn baffling. It can't make sense of it. <laughs> the brain at least understands two weapon builds. Seven weapons is awesome. It works great. I mean, if you play it right until usually it kind of has trouble in, you know, the last uh, the last couple depths because the guns are, are so you know, this many weapons are so demanding that you don't quite have the resources to to power them all for long enough. Um, I mean, unless we, you know, it depends on what else other slots to add by then and how I'm distributed. It's doable, but yeah, it's certainly doable. It, the, normally I play it more recklessly, though. If I do this build, I normally don't play carefully. I play pretty recklessly. And I'm actually playing it kind of carefully because now because I'm streaming. So it's changing the outcome a little bit. I would probably be starting to go downhill already. But at this point, we're we're very much standing on a, a good hill here. <laughs> uh, we have a whole spare powerful build in our inventory. And the one we've got now is still going on. Basically, yeah, that's how I'm running it right now. You can tell. The build we've got now is powerful enough to deal with stuff and can just keep swapping in stuff that we find while we have it and full build in our inventory you know except the one thing i'm missing is power source because i lost the other one when we got hit by the hub but um yeah i mean other than that the inventory has a whole replacement set of just tons of treads and armor and powerful weapons that we could just slop on so uh, the heavy is your cycler with the <laughs> cycler wrapped up with a bow on top Ah, I guess that if we're gonna hunt like that, though, well, first of all, it's a marshal. I'm kind of, kind of dangerous, but if we're gonna do that, I guess we do actually want to get the salvage targeting computer. It does have a nice two-slot cannon, but cannon a two-slot cannon doesn't make sense with this build. It would actually lower our, our effectiveness like greatly. I mean, it lowers the effectiveness of even a lower weapon slot build than this one. This is kind of extreme. All right. Um, anyway, but yeah, I do like the cycler idea. I was going to get a cycler some other way, but just I didn't really want to get pulverized by the heavy. I prefer to not take on heavies. <laughs> I can avoid it. But it's an idea. I like that idea. Also, that can has plus delay. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I wouldn't approach from this angle. I'm, the reason I'm coming back up here... Oh, god damn it! Don't follow me in here. Uh, the reason I was coming back up here was to grab this targeting computer. got two of them i'm just watching my what i was worried about there was my heat i was watching my heat because these are grunts and uh i don't mind fighting them at this range because i have uh i'm already stationary and i have a lot of weapons so they'll go down fast but i just have to watch my heat all right that entire squad went down fine okay there's another engine okay need a spare engine what else do I need here? High capacity better. Oh, shoot. That's right. That's the reason I left this room. I didn't want to get segregator traps on me. I don't know where the others are. There's more traps in this room. We found three of them. Where are the rest of them? <laughs> uh, this is a bad room. Hmm. All right, Prozac. Yeah, maybe uh, Maybe next week. Uh, I imagine the stream. I'll just be continuing this run next week, probably. And you can see later in the game. But, yeah. Get to sleep, and uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, I've already been streaming for three hours or so now anyway. I'll be starting around the next time, probably next week, assuming I keep to a schedule. In terms of day and time. Time, I pretty much always stream at the same time, but uh, day is, uh, used to be uh, this day. 
and uh, we'll see how how it is going forward. Uh, so anyway, I kind of want to stay away from these traps. There's some more in this room, but we could just hope for the best. And, and that makes me want to know: should I go this way and hit that first? I'm gonna go that way, and just you know maybe try to take the same path back. Also, I need to put on something else here. Uh, okay, I don't have a w access to other wheels at the moment, so I'm gonna drop that wheel. That'll give me space in my inventory to do that. There's another trap. And the other thing I wanted was this engine. So that I have something spare. Okay, the other one, uh, the one to the north is actually has a little more integrity. That's okay. Uh, could be just these three. <laughs> I'm already staying up late on a work night, but I've gone too far now, so no turning back. I won't keep you up too late, Plexian. I don't want to stream for too long. Anyway. I used to go over time a little too often. So we'll see. Uh, probably just make it to the caves. That's good enough. Oh, four traps? Oh, yeah, yeah. The four traps, yeah. Oh, you're saying my could it be just those three? Mm, in theory, yeah. It could just be a few. The thing is, it's, it, it's usually more, though. So until you've seen def until you've seen six traps, you can't be a hundred percent sure there aren't more. Is basically the way that goes. But yeah, I don't know the exact actual, actual minimum count for this. It might be I think is it three to six traps if we're a, a room array random. Six is the max, yeah. So once you've seen six traps, no matter where it is, that's the max. Like in a hallway, if you've seen a line of four plus two, you know the remaining two slots aren't full. They're de they're empty. It li it lines up a row, but it won't do more than six. So, okay. I lay up points out something else, which definitely happens unless there are two arrays. <laughs> yeah, once you that's the thing. Multiple arrays can really throw you. Then, so the the single array is six, and you can usually tell in a hallway if there's a single array the way it lines up. But it's funny, you've you can sometimes see multiple arrays line up in a hallway so that they they merge. And it's so, yeah, you can't be guaranteed. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah, Eek 7 is a little different, right? <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not entirely once you've seen success, it, that's it, but you can kind of guess. Plus, if there's more than... The thing is, you can also kind of tell from the rate at which you're discovering traps. Because if there's that many traps in the room, you'll be discovering them faster, too. Just through natural discovery. And, like, the rate that we're in this room, there's definitely not going to... It's almost certainly not going to be multiple arrays. Plus, there's the fact that, you know, if there are multiple arrays, they're usually of different types of traps. Usually. Not always, but it's more likely. So, I'm thinking this room would probably have, yeah, anywhere from what we've seen now to maybe another one or two uh, of these segregator traps. Hmm... All right, so let's see. There was the heavy down there, and that's what I was going for. Let's go through this wall, and then go this way. I'm gonna take the scenic route, long-range proton cannon, and a phase shifter. Huh. Phase shifter is actually kind of nice. Might be a little. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's somewhat useful, like against the heavy too. Barely. Is it only five? It's only five. It's not that great. Um, yeah, maybe not worth, although, I mean, in the end, I'm going to have to take off the terrain scanner. Uh, that's going to, uh, that's going to be swapped with the targeted computer, though, so I guess it's not going to matter. We need the cooling, so, yeah, I can't run them, right, exactly, as Lara points out, too. We can't, there's no room for it, anyway. Need all the other parts we've got. All right, where is he? He's down lower. Oh, ambush trap, not going to go that way. Where is he, where is he, where is he? He still hasn't triggered. He's that low. Drone bays. Hmm. Lots of drone bays. Also, hyper velocity coil guns. Huh. Okay, there he is. We will take your coil gun. Coil gun. Hyper velocity coil gun. Hmm. We'll start running lower on mat. I could actually lower our heat by s dropping one of our Gatling lasers. I kind of like this damage spread on those, though. 
combined with our other stuff. It's hard to say. Once you get a lot, a lot of guns, you can do some interesting combinations, I think. Or it certainly changes what you might want to have equipped. It's kind of fun. Um, so yeah, this other quote gun, I probably want that. Precision assault rifle is probably droppable now. I mean, it's about to die anyway. Of course, we're about to lose some stuff, I imagine. Hmm. Drone base. I don't think we really need drone base. Oh, actually. Um, oh, for the heat transfer? Yeah. They're pretty good for heat transfer, and it's nice to heat guys up. But they're low. You know, once they combine, if even if you hit with all three shots, each shot is low. A plus 25, which really puts it at, what, high from a single volley or a single uh, Gatling laser, and that's assuming all your shots hit. So you could also, you know, use like a thermic or uh, thermic and other other heat uh, transferring stuff. But they are also they also do a decent amount of damage. So yeah, that is an advantage of theirs. Um, hmm. I'm curious. I maybe want to take a drone bay if I could. Um, mainly for the caves, not for here. For later. I could remove my sentry armor. I've got a lot of others. What else do I have in here? Heavy hammer. Oh, I've got a rocket launcher still. Alright, goodbye rocket launcher. I don't need a rocket launcher. We've got long range missiles. I'm gonna take a drone bay. Best thermal gun until research, says Terminus. Really? Thinking about the Gatling laser? It's pretty cool. Gatlings are basically cannons for closely and offensive purposes. Mmm. Oh, for something that common, yeah. Plus seventy-five is almost matched. I don't know what the numbers on are. The numbers are for other uh, thermal type weapons. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hype. That's right. That's right. Also, yeah, we don't want to use hyper velocity, or it's not going to be useful against the the heavy here. But not that I replaced anything else that was important or useful. How am I going to kill this guy? Um, Alright, I guess I have to go and check our... Yeah, the hyper velocity is not going to be useful against him. Oh, hype is for salvage? Uh, that's true. I, I also have the salvage targeting, though. Let's see. This is going to give us... What do we got? Salvage plus four from a hit on this. Damn. Uh, that's pretty good, actually. Yeah, yeah it's not going to crit destroy, but that's going to mega salvage from this guy. Yeah. WC Weapon Cycler. Yeah, we're... <laughs> Alright, yeah, this is a work. Alright, so I guess we want to basically just head out this door to the southwest and just uh, face tank him right here. Main problem I can see is... He's probably going to rip our wheels off. Um, also just rip our build apart. Because I have... We're going to have to start attaching parts for inventory, I guess. Alright, well, we'll see what happens. Don't forget... Yeah, yeah, the salvage computer. Let's put that now, actually. Now is a good opportunity for that. Okay, in we go. Programmers, whatever. <laughs> oh, you know another option would be to siege right here. You can't even see me yet. Yeah. Siege right here would be good. I like that idea, actually. It's a better idea. Much better idea. Um, siege and then just duke it out point blank with this guy. Mm, we're gonna step south after this. Alright, we should. Yeah, I'll be able to take out one slot. Uh, one, sh one, uh, one wall here. So I'll siege first, and then we'll take out the wall, and then kill him from here, right in the doorway. Oh shoot! I should have let him see me. Maybe whatever. It's not gonna matter. They're probably gonna come from too far away. There went our armor. That's okay. I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> and here comes some more shots. Oh, wow. Yeah, I put on my armor, he immediately blasts. He immediately gets a blast crit. Oh, my God. This guy is so freaking dangerous. <laughs> All right. Prepare to eat a lot of firepower. Oh. <laughs> okay. That was nice. Man, seven weapons. See, Plexion, could you do that with two weapons? No. <laughs> 
Uh, he dropped... Oh, shoot. He didn't drop his cycler, huh? He dropped everything... Oh, wait. This one... No, that's a heatsink, too, huh? He dropped uh, nothing, everything except his cycler. No, he didn't actually even drop his gun. What? Damn. Oh, uh, I didn't land a shot. And Maybe I should have actually switched. Sheesh. Oh, yeah. It's up there. God damn it. Oh, well. Didn't get it. Did it get anything out of this? Other than <laughs> being happy that I'm absolutely annihilated a heavy... Let's see, graphene brace, EM disruption field. I already have one of those. Do I do Am I still carrying that thing? Am I carrying an EM disruption field anymore? Oh, yeah, I didn't think I dropped it. Didn't recall dropping it. Huh. Hmm. Oh, well. Uh, I didn't really get anything out of that. Yeah, that was a rare time when shuffling weapon order matters. I probably, I should have put the coil guns up for, to be honest, I didn't expect to kill him in one volley. I thought it, uh, that would have come out. Yeah, I put a, should have put the coal guns first. It's pretty rare that you need to do that. Don't Gatling have minus one? Oh, but yeah, I guess they do. They have minus one salvage. So his salvage was lowered. The uh, salvage targeting gives us, what, a plus three. I mean, he did technically have a plus, plus overall plus going on there. But yeah, that was, that wasn't good. What else is on these from salvage? Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, the, the coil guns first would have been perfect. He, he would have gotten a plus eight total of salvage and would have taken him out. What? Did you mention that, introvert? <laughs> Did you really say that? I didn't. Uh, I, I, I recall the comment about them being good for salvage, but oh no. I'm sorry. Missed it. Missed it. Damn. Missed that in the chat. Sorry. That That's a good point. So, introvert would have would have perhaps come out of this in a much better situation. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, okay, we're going to leave these treads on for now. Just because we've got incoming. And I will be happy to siege up and blow them away. But the exit's near. So we might not actually meet anyone. Because, unfortunately, we're in the factory, which is kind of more wide open. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, you said it once, I think. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't count the one about uh, just you want it for salvage. That's definitely why I liked it, having it. But uh, wall hack the waller for a run-up. Oh, run-up. <laughs> uh, I, I don't expect the hauler to have anything good. Oh, shoot. Uh, actually, we're still at low depth. Huh? Sieging probably not going to be worth it here. Um, do I want to actually bother sieging? Probably should have sieged. You always you always regret sieging when you don't siege, right? It just lowers my Alright, freak. Prepare to die. You and your friend both. <laughs> should have just sieged first, probably. Alright, 184 matter. I kinda wanna pick up that matter. There's also bad guys headed to this area though. Oh wait a minute, I have I have I have the oh so wonderful boom oh did you hear that sound did you see that animation no it was too fast <laughs> I, I, you might have i wasn't looking at the screen <laughs> but there's a new animation and sound effect for uh tractor beam operation Guns. I love these guns. Alright, but I love them. But I'm also going to switch back to my wheels. Advanced terrain scanner. I don't mind if I do. We have an improved train scanner and inventory. I'm going to drop that. And our exits to the south. But I'm not going to head out there just yet. I'm going to look around. Just because we're kind of in a side area, so it's less dangerous anyway. Doesn't look like there's anything going on. Guns good. Yes. You're right, Terminus. Goes on. Yes.
Oh, yeah. No, for sure. Definitely not rude, introvert. It's good to point it out, too. And it's uh, it's very right. Definitely a smart move. I don't normally think... I mean, obviously, most people don't normally think about weapon order. Um, pretty rarely. I might have thought of it more if it played recently. <laughs> All right, we're checking out the south. Oh, segregated trap. Just also because I want to find more stuff. I don't exactly need... Oh, god damn it. All right, I'm going back this way. Damn it. <laughs> cool, cargo convoy. All right, we'll be safe here, right? <laughs> cargo convoy. 13 matter. Do you have some matter? A little bit of matter. I need another wheel. Hmm. That guy doesn't actually know I'm here. I wanted a wheel. That's all I wanted, a wheel. <laughs> convoy. No idea where the convoy is. Theoretically, could intercept it. I don't have any, actually, really, I don't think I have enough firepower to take on a convoy. Well, okay, double missile launcher might do it. But that would probably also annihilate everything. I'm going this way. Would prefer to have grabbed an extra wheel. But, we're back. Friends. Hey, friends. I have 5% corruption now. Hope I don't kill you. Move along before you get yourself shot. Yeah. All right. So, I do wonder where this exit is. is I guess it's early enough we can continue down here, even though we're going to keep Plexion up. <laughs> There's wheels. Oh, uh, I'm not a murderer, though. <laughs> okay, I am when I see these guys. These guys are okay. They don't talk. Oh, I <laughs> destroyed his wheels. <laughs> These guys have treads. Um, fine. Waste matter. Oh, dude, I even switched to uh, my hypervelocity coil guns and it critted his wheels off. <laughs> uh, oh, what's in here? Horses. All right, the wheels in here. Spiked wheel. Oh, whoa. Oh, never mind. It's a base. Oh, I didn't even recognize it. Dude, could, didn't tell that was a base. Look at that. No commander in here, huh? What else do you guys have? Energy filter, humpbacks. Hmm. Heat flow error. What do you guys got on this thing? Nothing good. Oh, okay. No, we got intel. Got armory stockpiles, research stockpiles, factory emergency access, armory garrison. Hmm. Nice computer you have there. Oh, uh, they break down items and I think logs count as items. Yeah, that is true. Look at that. I'm really good at destroying wheels, that's for sure. <laughs> this game blowing up all the wheels. Oh, oh shoot. Man, am I fast enough? I'm kind of slow right now. Damn it. I'm going to have to kill this guy myself. Both of these guys. Seven weapons. Oh yeah, they actually wanted their stuff. That's right, they're gonna blow up. You know what? I don't need their power source, so fine, stay there. Guess I could have picked it up just in case. Pick up and drop. That's what you might want to do in the caves. Um, if you think you might need something later, but you don't necessarily need it now and they dropped it, is to just pick it up and drop it again so that you can deactivate this, the system. Another EM disruption field. Hmm. Oh, I hear some combat. Heavy laser. It's probably grunts. It sounds like grunts killing locals. It sounds like you guys. <laughs> uh oh. 
could go ham with the launchers. Not that I really need to. It's funny, I have launchers, but I have less need to use them simply purely because I can be about as effective with all these guns. Although, we're going to run low on guns soon. We've got, I mean, uh, crappy guns. I'd prefer to use crappy guns most of the time. <laughs> oh, hey guys. Oh, shoot. Oh, who needs launchers when you have seven guns? Apparently, not me. Ooh, a bunch of traps down here. Yeah, accuracy is a bad stat. If you had 100%, you wouldn't have hit anything with that accidental penetration aim. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Cute. Alright, so fire traps, yeah, I'm pretty much into dirty traps. Fire traps can be pretty good, though. Depends. They're harder to use, I think, overall. Um, yeah, that's true. Long-range missile does outrange stuff, so it makes it easier to kill stuff uh, from long range in here. Yeah, it could do that and probably be a little safer, take a little less damage. Trap extractor. Oh. I guess that means I could stack some of these up, huh? Hmm. All right, that's actually worth it, huh? Wait a minute, why do I have a point system, defense system on? When the hell did I pick up a point defense system? That's why you mentioned point defense system earlier, Lara. I thought you were referring to it because, like, it was on the ground earlier and I didn't get to pick it up. <laughs> yeah, I know you, I didn't hear you, you, I saw the mentioned point defense system. I thought it was, you just, you didn't ask me, like, why do I have it on? You said point defense system? <laughs> I thought you were wondering why I didn't take one with me because I know there was one on the ground. I didn't pick that up on purpose. I have no idea how I got that. In fact, did I not pick up something else I was supposed to pick up by grabbing that? I have no idea where that came from. Where we got here? Dirty bombs. I had no idea that was on me. Sheesh. Not even paying attention to my... They don't even need those utility slots. Should have another weapon slot, huh? Alright, where'd you go, dude? He'll come back eventually. <laughs> there he is. Wow. Looked like a lot of misfiring, but that was really just a Gatling laser going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah this guy didn't drop his but it's kind of nice to have a uh, trap extractor here with a bunch of dirty bombs in it mm. <laughs> extra weapon has no time delay <laughs> I knew what you put your body I had no idea how that got there totally unexpected Okay, see, like right now, I kind of want to grab a dirty bomb, another dirty bomb trap. And the fact that I'm wasting this slot is kind of annoying. Prop slot. Oh, yeah, that's right. I had a drone bay. I was going to use that, too. You could have fun with drones. Goodbye, drone. What are you doing? Oh, he found a derelict log. Guess we can go pick that up. Alright, I'll leave this here. Oops. God damn it. <laughs> Wrong button. <laughs> My mistake, I am trying to send you off to have some fun. Yes, there you go. Do it. Let's go. No, that's the wrong way. Okay, you can go there. Found some scrap. Found the exit. Well, I knew that already. 
Looks like that's it. Okay, so getting back to that. Oh, drone. I guess I'll leave that trap there then. And switch away from drone. Actually, we'll keep the drone bay for the next map. And we can go check that scrap out. There's a ripper up here. I don't actually want a ripper. I'm still using a heavy hammer. <laughs> there went some matter. Enhanced Gauss Cannon. Hmm. Not bad, but we're not a cannon user. 8% corruption now. Hmm. Oh wait, there's scrap up here. There's another Gatling laser. That's kind of funny, huh? The one I had was about to go. Heavy mace. Wait a minute, that one's better, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I won't pick it up though, because the range is different. Scout decoder chip. Hmm. Not going to be as useful here. Gonna use a drone, but I was trying to get away from here first. Hmm. Well, okay. <laughs> I guess we'll use the drone now then. Pretty much uh, when you come into a new floor, it's likely there will be some enemies somewhere nearby. So I wanted to try and either evade or take them out before sending out the drone. Oh, I got a friend over there. They're like logged at the south. Okay, we now will know what depth we're at. This warlord depth. Oh shoot. Huh. How come I wasn't able to get rid of that? Which node is it on? What? That's awkward. Normally you should be able to get rid of that. Why can't I get rid of that? Typing, typing, typing. Oh, I haven't had one that I couldn't get rid of before. Where did that come from? Uh, deal with it in a second. Perhaps. Got the typing sounds stuck. I mean, something I was... Whoa, okay, you found that. Try large... I did, I just scrolled the terminal. Order command menu. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, no, he's on a return. That's fine, yeah. I don't know. That's kind of weird. Uh huh. It's not that. Whoops, 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 whoops. That's weird. I know. Oops. Okay. Oh! Huh. It got stuck from the interface purely from the interface, and I couldn't override it with the log version. Huh. It was this one. Weird. I haven't actually had that happen before. It was specifically the interface message one, the, the typing sound. Mm. Eh. Still, it's still on my list to try and fix again. <laughs> or warn yourself a bug point. I've only seen this with exiting terminals. Um, well, yeah, there's, uh, there's, I mean, it's anywhere that there's typing sound, it's theoretically possible. Somehow it happened apparently through the interface, but normally the thing is, even if it happens through the interface message system where an interface or a message quickly pops up at the top of your map, even if it happens through that, I would have thought it should have been reset through any other method that uses the same channel. Are they not using the same channel for that? Hmm. I don't know. It's weird. Their drone. Okay, finally got destroyed through crits. All right, what's going on here? Anyway, that's that's unexpected. Um, hmm. All right, so yeah, enemies up there. Drone. I was more worried about 
checking out that sound than everything else. Anyway, I don't know if that's not really gonna, I guess, inform anything else I plan to do with it. It's in terms of solving that. Oh God. Wait, who is that? Oh, someone else at the exact same time happened to walk by the other side of that outpost. <laughs> All right, that was very close. I'm trying to find another way that's not the outpost. <laughs> Here we go. I go this way. Uh, never seen this from interface either, says Introvent. Yeah, I don't know how, it must have been happened somehow interrupted some kind of, inter somehow interrupted or replaced the message. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. I don't even get how, why that would happen. Huh? It must have been some really weird sequence of interface commands that made that happen because yeah it's certainly known and possible through the other method that's the more common one that everyone's familiar with but hmm, weird but that could, does answer perhaps a question that in the past I know some people have reported not being you know it, it just going going on forever until they restarted and that would be more likely if it was caused by the interface one because those messages are, are rarer right as opposed to simply just something appearing in the log or opening any other window any of the other things that cause the typing sound it's kind of weird. Layered heavy armor. That's pretty cool. I don't need to stand in front of this guy, though. Hmm. Well, hey, you have it on video? Uh, I guess technically, yeah. The thing is, I don't know what my hands were doing at the time, but maybe I could track it down. Yeah, that's true. Maybe I should actually look at it real quick and see. Let me check. Uh, let me write down the time, which is very conveniently displayed on the interface there. Oh. Check that out later. It is a good idea to take advantage of uh, take advantage of anything that does happen to be on video. <clears throat> We'll check that out later. Okay, so uh, layered heavy armor is actually pretty cool. <laughs> I've got plenty of armor myself, but oh, that's right. I'm using oh, I'm using heavy insulated. I'd actually prefer to probably have uh, that armor instead of heavy insulated. I always like heavy insulated because it happened to have more, or it happened to have other properties other than the armor I had, which had the same integrity. So yeah, I do kind of want that. Let me. Hmm. I'm just walking away, not doing anything. <laughs> it's heading west. Okay, there they come. The guy, other guy's gonna walk around the corner soon ish. He's not very fast though. <laughs> Might have been able to kill them faster with this. Shoot, also I'm gonna run out of power. Yep, ran out of power. All right, what am I need here? 71. All right, we'll just, okay, we'll just take, uh, turn off the Gatling laser, I guess. So wait, oh, shoot, what? Oh, it was 96. Oh, hmm, wonder where that number came from. All right, let's turn that off. Uh, all right, 71, assault rifle. Hmm. Turn off the Gatling laser. There we go. You're dead. And I can fire again. More energy left. Okay. Oh, there's pl 
on the oh you know what I should have done I completely forgot I've got traps now that would have been a good trap target those guys that was the perfect opportunity to trap someone is if they see you from far away but won't really fire at you is set traps around the corner and just uh, run away that's a pretty useful tactic I should have done that I forgot that's a new option haven't had a lot of options so far in terms of carrying around extra useful stuff Whoops. Makeshift power source. I'm actually going to take that because I have no spare power otherwise. Improved targeting computer. <laughs> it's funny I have all these weapons and not a single targeting computer. It's unusual. Data, data jack is some extra useful stuff you can hold on to. That's true. They I tend to, yeah, they come in handy. There's even two right here. Uh, they do come in handy for various reasons, but I don't know. I generally just don't take one and then regret not taking it. And when I take one, I never end up using it. <laughs> uh, what? What is that? Oh, never mind. Whoops. That is simply destroy area. Exit is is there. Wow, you survived over here. You got a wheel for me. Oh wait, I don't want to use this. Come back. Come back. I just want a wheel. <laughs> Run far away. Really far away. Where the hell did he go? <laughs> if you wait, he'll come back. Maybe. Probably. What? <laughs> wow, first fuse this run. I've been seeing some interesting fuses from other people's runs. I love fusing. It's so cool. <laughs> People getting important stuff fused. Uh, Lyra was just thinking, how oh, have we not had fuses yet? <laughs> uh, I love fuses. It's so great. I love seeing screenshots with fuses in them. <laughs> you know how it feels. I know exactly how it feels. I've had some bad stuff fused. Not as much as other people, clearly. But, um, yeah. I've seen some fun fuses. <laughs> okay, Crackle Pappy. Uh, it's surprising having a fuse. I really haven't been corrupted much at all this run. And I haven't been also spending a lot of time waiting. You know, if, you, if you're corrupted and you wait, uh, fusing is likely. Um, shoot, where the, where the hell did he go? I just wanted a wheel. Oh, anyway, I, this is the first time this run I've actually had corruption this high. Which is really not that high, it's only 8%, but it's something. We have uh, had a lot of the other effects of and misfiring a lot in the last floor or two, a couple floors here. Alright, uh, forget it, fine, he's gone for good. I'll just let you take your wheel. Keep your wheel. I was probably just going to blow it off anyway. Terminus says, I had a screenshot with really half or more of my utility space fused, negative two. Your shell got fused. I saw that screenshot, Terminus. That was a funny screenshot. <laughs> Uh, you also pointed out that your shell got fused and I, I saw some of the other fuses there that was interesting um, yeah yeah I figured you'd been lurking crackle <laughs> okay well the next area two corrupted parts yeah I know but we're not going out of here so definitely next time Definitely next time we're going to uh, attach those corrupted parts I got in Cetus. I haven't had a chance to do that yet. Alright, before I get sucked into a whole lot of other stuff, I'm going to stop and entering Warlord. Otherwise I'll just keep playing forever. <laughs> the stream's gone up for almost four hours, which is really should limit myself. You know, health reasons, sanity reasons, also beta 13 reasons because after this I'm going to get back to this afternoon I'll be working on putting the new map together which I'm excited about it's, it's good to be excited about because there's a lot to do <laughs> it's uh, it's coming along well uh, if you um, you got your comma ray fused level yeah I, did I see did you put a screenshot of that I think I saw someone's screenshot with a comma ray fused but yeah seeing some of the utilities that you might normally want to remove being fused is always uh, always a blast <laughs> comma ray is a pretty bad <laughs> <laughs> um, although, yeah. Hmm. Anyway, cool. Um, uh, so, yeah, uh, what I was going to conclude with there was anybody 
who uh, was not here at the beginning. If you want to go back and check out the video, and I'll also be putting it on YouTube later, um, the beginning, I spent like the first 20 minutes talking about, you know, because I haven't streamed for a while, just talking about Beta 13 and what's been up and what's going on and stuff like that, just development. Mainly just general chatting. You probably know most of that stuff if you've just been hanging out on Discord. Anyway, um, probably. Plus, yeah. I also opened with this looking at the last news on Steam, uh, Cogmine News, um, which was, yeah, from early last month. So, yeah, good to be back. I would like uh, to continue streaming now that I'm getting back into it. Should be okay uh, to do that, I think. Um, yeah, and it's been a while, so... I uh, can't think of anything else to add at the moment. I will be back on the Discord as usual this afternoon while I work on the uh, next release. Although it being late evening for many of you, I imagine uh, <laughs> won't be seeing as many people. Just the Discord tends to get quieter throughout the afternoon and uh, evening, my afternoon and evening. But um, uh, yeah, so I will be spending the time working on Beta 13. Let's do today. Is today I'm putting yeah, just continuing putting together uh, the new map, which I started this week. Um, putting it like all the stuff into it the actual map itself was constructed a long time ago actually but now it's getting filled with stuff so that's exciting um, just got a super long list and going down that whole list bit at a time now so yeah thanks everyone for showing up um, and I'll see you back in the discord and expect yeah to, uh, another stream in uh, a week or so we'll plan on that